Alrighty. Good morning, fellas. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Medieval 2 Total War Definitive Edition here today on the channel. We're going to be continuing our Sicily campaign. This is live stream slash episode 2. Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. Here today, we're going to start things off with a battle against the Egyptians. We are eventually going to try and crusade and take Jerusalem and continue into the Levant. We're doing quite well in this Sicily series. We're going to continue on with it. All right. So as you guys come in, if you haven't already left the stream a like, I'd really much appreciate it. Also subscribe if you're new. It really helps out. Hello, Dwarfy. It didn't start yet. It's starting now. Way better than Legend of Total War. A far better Australian. Legend's all right. Sean? Um, okay. He's a good guy. Uh, positive. Bam, 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 bam. Nice. Okay. Also, to start things off, at the start of every stream and end, I have to say thank you to my YouTube channel members and patrons. So I've got to say a massive, massive, massive thank you to Hectorp A, Dimitri H, Caesar L, Kyle P, Tom C, Jeremiah M, and Jordan K. So a huge thank you to those patrons and channel members. Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing well, Fritz. Welcome back. Now, actually, on the topic of channel members, it's probably worth mentioning as well. I've been what, live streaming the what, past week or so. And you guys have been really, really generous. So I do appreciate all those super chats and donations. It really, really does help out. But also, I just want to draw your attention to channel memberships as I think you get far more value from what you're spending. Like some of you are donating like $10, $15. You're actually probably better off doing a membership if that's something you want to do because you get your name read out at the start and end of every video. You also get emotes, you also get an icon next to your name. Once we hit eight members, your icon's going to be um, put on the front of the channel as well. So I just thought I'd mention that. But some people, if you prefer to do super chats, some people just prefer to donate and leave. But yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. Like, you actually get more value out of it. Like, it, I make the same. It doesn't matter to me financially. It's still the same cut. So, just thought I'd give you the heads up. If that's something you want to do, just do whatever you want anyway. But I just think you guys get more value out of memberships than just the super chat because it just disappears. But it's up to you. Hey there. Hey, Delta. I actually like his videos as well. Yeah, I guess it's your opinion. Whatever. It's all right, Sean. Whatever. Also, as well, on the topic of donations, um, there's been a fair few people um, donate to my crypto wallet, which is fucking awesome to be honest. And I thought I'd just give you my position on the, the crypto stuff as well. So in the description, there is an Ethereum and Bitcoin link. There's not like an absurd amount of money in those wallets, just like a couple grand. But I think crypto is fantastic. And what I have them there for is essentially the way I do YouTube, I don't get super. I don't know what it's called wherever you are. It's like, uh, I think it's like a 401k in the US. So what I usually do is I put a little bit of money into crypto, put a little bit of money into stocks. So eventually I can retire. So I plan to hold on to those wallets for 40 so years until I retire. But I think it's a really good way to, to do that because some people have more money in crypto than they do like in cash and there's no fees to it. So I just thought I'd let you guys know. So I'm going to be holding those wallets. I just think it's really quite cool because usually, obviously, I take a cut, YouTube takes a cut if you do a super chat and then I have to pay tax on it as well. And the fees are nothing because like a lot of people I know actually are more <laughs> crypto wealthy than they do have cash as well. So I just thought I'd address my positions on the crypto um, in those wallets. So I'm going to be holding until retirement basically. And also you don't have to pay tax on crypto unless you sell it. But the brilliant thing is about crypto wallets as well. You can like just Google how much is in the wallet. You can see all the public transactions. I think that's fantastic. So yeah, just thought I'd talk about memberships and the crypto. 
Yeah, I wish there was a way to like, if you guys did donate to that, to show it. But that's the whole thing about the blockchain and it's anonymous. <laughs> hey, Simpsy Chat. Hey, Harmon. All right, just waiting for some more people to come in. All right, well, we're going to continue on with this campaign, which I am having heaps and heaps of fun with. Alrighty. Just need to get chat up on my phone. And then we're good to go. So we're probably going to kick things off with some fights against the Egyptians. Invade Greece. Maybe at some point, because we'd have to get rid of the Venetians. Have you just started? Relatively. It's 10 minutes. It should say at the bottom... Or it does say somewhere how long the stream's been going for. But we're about to get things underway. So let's have a look at our situation. So we've got Cairo, Alexandria under our control. King Simon has a crusade target on Jerusalem. We managed to retake Palmero. We're currently at war with Milan and Egypt. Okay. The Venetians do have an army near... Naples. All right, back up here. So we're not at war with Venice. I would like to make a play against Milan, but they are really bunkered in. Two full stacks. That's going to be pretty hard to break down. Maybe get some crossbowmen and some spearmen here. But we're still working towards our victory conditions of holding 15 regions we need to eliminate venice milan we currently have eight so we're still pretty far away from hitting those spy wise we'll keep you in and around milan um i believe we've already no negotiated with the hungarians yeah we already have trade rights so it's probably okay to move you out of here If we take some of this territory, we might be able to sue for peace. Zoom into the campaign. I want to see a fight. We'll eventually get one. Get to one, Lucas. Do you like crusades or do you feel that they get repetitive? I think they're fun to do. When will we have a medieval, medieval three? I have no clue. I've also added Nightbot to the chat as well, so he should really help out with some of those spamming and help with chat moderation, essentially. Okay, well, let's start things off with the battle. Let's get King Simon to attack Captain Saladin. I wonder if it's the Saladin. <laughs> Alright, he's going to flee back, so unfortunately we're not going to be able to give chase. Damn, I wanted to start things off uh, with a battle here today. It looks like it might not happen. Alright, so overall I think we're looking good. Our family tree is secure. We've got our second king, Simon. Prince Alberto is the heir. He was married into our line. We married Agnes, so the future kings will have... Some about it. Okay. Some HRE blood. Alright, let's uh, end the turn and continue. Hazar for Nightbot. Yeah, hopefully he um, helps out. We'll, we'll see how we go. I didn't realise that you could get Nightbot for YouTube. I knew you could get him on Twitch, but... I figured it out last night. Okay, we've had a family tragedy. Alright, so we've got a little bit of money to spend. I think we just kick things off with a battle. Unless he runs down again. Right, so what are we coming up against? Three Mamluk archers, three ballista, and a handful of spearmen, and some archers as well. Alright, let's fight this one on the battlefield. Should be a nice warm up as we push into the Levant. All 
Are we going to get a general speech, potentially? Maybe. The love of God is a thousand times stronger than any mortal armor. His wrath against our foes is a thousand times better than a thousand arrows. Our faith gives us his aid, and more, it will give us victory. Now, cry for the Virgin, and look for that victory. Our Egyptian foes should look to the state of their souls in the last few moments of life left to them. Shortly, they will be judged by whatever god they worship when our swords send them screaming into the afterlife. God, I hate horse archers. I'm sure you do, Marcus Aurelius. Good evening, everyone. Good morning, FM Rage. How you doing? All right, let's uh, rally everyone up. I believe we just try and charge them. Sitting back isn't the play, as they do have... Artillery supremacy over us. We do have some of our own ballista. And we've also got a cross here to help with morale. We don't have that many archers. We not, might be nearly better off just to charge all my cavalry. Just like straight up and over. Keep the, uh, the general further back. I hope they bring back good speeches. Yeah, I love the speech mechanic. In medieval too, it's uh, a lot of fun. All right, let's charge here, and let's go to all that cavalry to charge as well. So they got their horse archers on the flank. Dude, we could nearly just charge into the. Uh, maybe not. I was gonna say maybe we could just charge into those spearmen. Maybe slightly divert, peel away, and we'll wrap around. Okay. Yep, try to wrap around the back. Let's give out some attack orders. Try and wrap around with you. Give out some attack orders with you. Awesome. <laughs> Already lost 20%. We haven't really seriously charged. Oh my god. Okay, so we do have some horse archers here. Maybe try and fire at them. Okay, we're doing well. You charge around the rear. You're doing well here. Okay. Do we have some lighter units that might be able to get some of these horse archers in? My ballista are trying to target them. I suppose we give out some attack orders. I believe it's only the Mamluk archers that are left. Alright, we've caught them there. Okay. The problem is running after them is quite fruitless, but there's not really much else we can do. I guess we just try and push them to the edge of the map. Oh, they've retreated anyway. And these guys are probably going to run away as well. We might need to get some of our own horse archers. We do seem to catch them and crush them, though. The Our enemy has all right. All nice. A good victory. victory to start today. things off. All right. King Simon deployed 1,700. Only lost 100. And we destroyed Captain Saladin's force, emphatically. 
Looking at the casualties sustained and inflicted. 31. Oh, the crossbows did okay. 24. Alright, let's uh, go back to the main menu. Alright, that army's been decimated. Loyalty has gone up as well. Only a four-star commander. I would like it to be slightly higher. Anyway, let's move further west, and I guess we besiege out this settlement. Let's build siege equipment. A medieval two remaster will be good. Yeah, I hope they do that at some point. Now impress me with some tactics, <laughs> Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay. <laughs> greetings from Pakistan. Greetings, Deus Vault. Good old hammer and anvil. Quintus, hey Simpsy and chat. I discovered your channel recently with your live streams. I like your skill and explanation. You subscriber from France. Thanks, Quintus. That was very nice of you to say. Captain Saladin. Maybe Saladin should get a promotion before he goes to to, to to Crusaders. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. A little bit um on the nose. Um, I believe in the 1212 AD, from what I can remember playing when I played as the Ayubids, you technically can play as uh, Saladin. I don't know how the Egyptian family tree is set up in this. Like, maybe in the Crusades campaign, it's been a while. Can you actually play as Saladin in Medieval 2? I don't know. I'm trying to think what we need to prioritize here. I suppose we move my spy maybe to Byzantium. Um... Maybe we go down here, because there is a settlement down there from what I can remember. Okay, all my priests are doing fine as well. Actually, oh, we found Dongola, didn't we? Well, maybe we're better off moving that spy back then. We eventually probably want to try and make a play from Dongola. I seem to be old sub from the good old days. The Game of Thrones days, <laughs> yeah. Dude, I played the... um the hell out of those Game of Thrones mods. Holy shit. I sucked those things dry. <laughs> right, let's um, potentially get a priest here in Cairo because we're eventually going to need one in um, further east, eh? So maybe we are better off getting more infantry where we can as we form these Crusader states. Wait for the Mongols. We'll see how we go. Total War Victoria. When? I don't know. I'm definitely open for the next thing to either be um, a Rome, uh, not a Rome, medieval remaster, Rome, uh, what? Medieval three, <laughs> Rome, a uh, medieval two remaster, or like a Victorian era campaign. I've been saying that for ages. I'd love to uh, see that. Alright, not really much else we can do here. You're besieging out this. When will the Mongols come? Still ages away. There is a player bias, but... The Mongols... I don't believe they spawn down here. I could be wrong, but the Mongols either spawn... That I've remembered. They either spawn between Baghdad... The... Caucasus or higher north. Do they spawn down here? I don't believe so. But... They're always a pain to deal with. So, we kind of don't want to go too far east if we have to face them. Uh, let's build a mine here in Tunisia. And most of my territories are actually quite secure. I'm just trying to think if I should move one of these generals somewhere. I could move one of them to Tunisia. Just trying to think with my navy. Because you might be slightly wasted having two of you here. Yeah, so let's risk moving you down. 
full sail. Okay. Right, back north. We can see if we can find an opportunity. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Can I move you north? Can I actually hit that army in the rear, though? Or is the mountain blocking them? Because I, if I could somehow divide and conquer them, that would be ideal. It's just kind of tough. Like, does Milan want peace at all? No. Just out of my own curiosity, because I kind of want to make a play against them. Maybe we're better off not recruiting down here in the south. Maybe we're better off recruiting up in the north. Because I would like Dongola, but we might actually m might need more military uh, forces to the north. They don't spawn in Arabia. No, I didn't think so. The last stream you had the Maratha invading the US. Anything can happen. Yeah, that's Total War, the sandbox experience sometimes. Stream series, yeah. No, I understood what you meant. Maybe we get a little bit more... Uh, actually, no, it doesn't... No, that's, that's risky. Okay, so let's... I suppose move everyone out except for you, and you can sit here and govern. So if I... Siege out Milan, and then try and fight this back one. Like, if we fight this two to one, we're not going to be able to do it. So let's... Yeah. Besiege Milan. And I just need to hope that this army can hit that. And it can. We just need to be able to make sure to take minimal losses. So what's in this? A lot of crossbowmen. They even have a standard. Maybe I should go with a knight attack. But then we're not going to be able to see. I believe we fight this one. If we can get a crushing, over-resounding victory... We'll be fine. And then we can take Milan. Alright. Let's fight this one. Let's be a little bit risky. If not, we'll move back and lick our wounds and try and hold Genoa. I do not throw lives away. I will not use false modesty and deny the charge. Indeed, I say proud that it is true. And further, I will give you victory if you have the hearts to fight like men possessed when I ask it. Great God of heaven! I fear the Milanese do no service to the land of Italy. Rarely have I smelt such rank odor. One would think that such a nation of bankers would be able to afford fresh linen. Okay, let's start the deployment. Favorite faction? Uh, probably the Byzantines or England. Sicily's not too bad. Alright, let's uh, get everyone ready to go. These sergeants look pretty cool. We haven't used them for the first... We're going to be using them for the first time. Alright, let's move our crossbows out. So, I guess we have to charge. I wish there was a little bit more cavalry in this build. We might actually have to use the general's bodyguard. If things get a little bit... tough, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so let's... Try and wrap around at least two around the flanks so we can envelop. So ideally go with something like this. They're going to out-skirmish us. So we'll try and move up. But we'll see how we go. Also, as there's more people here now, make sure to leave the stream a like if you haven't already. And subscribe if you're new, it really helps out. Okay, let's uh, swing you to the left. Are you British? No, I'm Australian. Do I sound British? Milan, of course. Yeah, some people like Milan. Great general speech. They usually are. It's just these crossbowmen. If they soften us up, that's going to be an issue. 
They're actually not too bad in combat either. They're nicely armoured. Some people get confused with my accent. Some people say it's pretty thick. Some people say it's not... <laughs> It's hard to gauge how Australian you sound. <laughs> Alright, we're moving up here. We might actually be able to get some attack orders here off. So let's hit that there. You swing this way. Alright, good. We're charging now. Alright, let's get this cavalry. Yeah, I think we should get the general involved. Uh, maybe advance with you as well. Nice. You flank around here. Is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Like you need to start rapping big time, and you need to start flanking. You need to get down here as well. Okay, they're now broken. You're shaking them. Yeah, really try and wrap around. Wrap, 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 wrap. <laughs> Fucking rat, 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 <laughs> rat around. <laughs> oh, they're running back. Yeah, and then just start rotating down the line. 20% to the R7. The main thing is, as well, we kind of need to keep minimal casualties. Alright, come on. Make sure everyone's running. Make your way down here. Okay, they're now broken. You keep going as well. Keep rotating, man. Uh, you know what? We might actually just quickly put fi a, a fire ammunition shot off. Because it might fully make them run away. The front line is dissolving. We've managed to knock out 50. Nice. Okay. Go after the crossbows that are... Maintaining. Only half the enemy force remains. Perfect. Their standard is holding, so we want to try and bring that down. The enemy general is no more. Make sure everyone's got a decent attack order. Who the hell is still standing? Okay, we've got some crossbowmen there. The rest are mostly routing. Thankfully, there was no general in this army. Because you forget how much of a huge difference that makes. Alright, what's holding over here? Oh, it's just the standard steel. Seriously, do they fight to the death? I suppose they would. Protecting the, uh... <laughs> the holy bell of Milan. I don't know. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, if that's going to allow us to... Run down some of these other guys, I guess I'm fine with that. But two pretty good victories off the start, I think. Ugh, are we really pushing through them? No, we are. I was going to say, like, if we're seriously struggling to push against them, we might actually be better off just trying to archer fire them. We want to make sure this standard gets crushed. Okay, let's just continue slightly. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get those guys. They're too far away. Awesome. Clear victory. Wow, only 224. Dude, we outnumbered them by 100. But we absolutely murked them there. Holy shit. Alright, let's end that battle there.
Oh, wow. That's so much money. So, like, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. I'm just trying to think how many we've captured. Is it worth actually ransoming some of these? Because we need to try and whittle the numbers down. I suppose we get rid of them. Alright, they've moved back. So now... I suppose we siege, but we can't get any mercenaries. Alright, let's siege out Milan. So what's actually inside this? Two generals. One the faction leader. The rest... Crossbowmen, from what we can see. Alright, can we actually get mercenaries here? Okay, no I can't. I was going to say, if we can get some, that would be ideal. Because we are going to get some more reinforcements. The more we can get, the better. But not a bad play, I don't think. Alright, we're still sieging out over here as well. We'll wait a turn. Looks like we're going to have a couple sieges. Alright, let's continue on. Pope Gregory is dead. Oh, it looks like it's going to go to a vote. Um, Genoa has been besieged by Spain. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's annoying as shit. We just left there, bro. Oh, my God. We're still the strongest faction. The HRE has joined the crusade for Jerusalem. We need to cease hostilities with Milan. Ah, damn. We are sort of kind of playing with the Pope. Well, maybe we can, um... Hmm. I guess liberate Genoa. What am I playing on? Hard difficulty? No, I'm playing on hard, hard. You can see in the first part. Alright, so I guess we... We can, uh, maybe try and make them vote for me. Because this is going to allow me to negotiate with all factions. Like, I suppose, like, how much can we pay for the cardinal votes? Like a thousand florins? Nine, Family rejected. Well, this isn't a bad thing because you can just negotiate with all factions here. Because I guess, suppose you're meeting in the Vatican City. They're kind of annoyed. So who we got here? I think we're mostly trading with everyone else. Let's negotiate with Poland. No. Milan, a ceasefire. Not interested. The papal see. I still want that military access. You can give it to me. They're not interested. Yeah, we don't have the money to... pay for some of these... Why is there two Spains? I guess there is two senators. Well, I guess we just vote for ourselves and hope we can get it. Oh, so the HRE and the Papal See did vote for me. But Venice, who had four cardinals, voted for themselves. And they also brought in Poland, Milan, France, and everyone else. That's a shame. France and England have been reconciled. They were excommunicated. France and Venice have made an alliance. Alright. Let's chuck a save. Okay. Well, let's just go back over here for a sec. Yeah, damn, we have to... S oh, dude, we can't even get back. 
Oh, that's annoying as hell. Well, what's in that? Can we get any units back? One here. I suppose we move everyone out. We cannot travel there. Move out. Your Majesty. As my your will. Yes. Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet. Alright, what do they got in here? Oh, cavalry. Four to three. We do have spearmen, we've got some cavalry of our, of our own. Bloody marvellous, mate. Thanks again. Oh, thanks, Kevin Cran, for the super chat. I appreciate that. Really, really does help out. Thanks once again. So, allow this army to be controlled by the AI. No, I want to manually play this. We want to be able to control those reinforcements as well. We've just got to time it at the same time. Alright, let's uh, fight this one on the battlefield. It's a shame we couldn't get those reinforcements back from Milan. Someone's crushed France, maybe. Okay. Let's move out. Because you never know, they could charge me. And if we could get them to come closer to the arrow towers, that would be more beneficial for me. I would nearly... If we could wrap them around, it would be more... It would be, like, safer for me if we could do that. Okay. Okay. Let's speed things up. Alright, so they're pushing further back. Maybe move over here. Maybe not run, because I don't want them to get exhausted before the time they get here. So what do they have? Okay, they do have some... Missile Cavalry. That's going to be slightly annoying to deal with. Archers, it's the cavalry, that's the main thing. I suppose we got we put these guys on a guard mode just to see how we go. They're not moving any everyone up. We've got plenty of time. If we can somehow protect these guys getting as close to the walls as possible, and then we attack in one cohesive movement, we should be able to win this one. <laughs> they have a little bit of siege equipment there. Francesco always gets too many enemies early in this game. Who? Oh, France. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with France. I'd have to have a look. It's probably being carved up by multiple European powers as always. We're taking our time with this one. So it is going to be out of work in our advantage. Once we rally up, we'll give everyone a bit of a breather. And we'll look to charge. Maybe move out of guard mode as well. Let's move to a more of an advanced position. They're nearly here. Maybe just run for this last little 100 meters. Just for time's sake. We've chipped off a lot. Just in case it goes a little bit longer. Warmed up. They're fresh. 
They do have a slight high ground advantage. Okay. So. Let's speed things down. Let's move up. So I suppose we get like three to try and target that. While you flank. You flank. And you probably attack this while you probably hit the right flank. Because we don't want these skirmishes to hit us in the rear. Well, they seem to be coming a little bit closer, so... Maybe if we can lock this unit down... Hmm. The only problem is if they start kiting us, that's the thing. Like, I feel like sometimes you're better off not to give out the attack order and just sort of go in their general... ...vicinity. Because we already lost out a percentile. Trying to go for that. Like, try and go around the back of that. Mm, I just don't know if we're going to get in range. Maybe if we get a charge. Uh, it gives them a minor boost. Okay. Let's try and... Uh, speed things up. Right, they're moving out here. Alright, maybe swing the cavalry around to get a charge off. Alright, continue to march up this hill. Okay, so we're not going to be able to get there. Right, let's move up. Try and flank with you still. And you guys. Right, let's attack these spearmen. You go further back. Alright, let's start wrapping. Maybe go after these javelinmen here. Right, you charge down here. Uh, you run, like, run after these uh, horse, uh, um, these archers with our horses if we can. Six to ten, still quite close. All right, move you up here. Okay, they're broken now. Perfect. We just need to get these some guys up here to help. All right, maybe move here. We don't want this general to get too overextended. 27 to 10. Keep advancing up this hill. I know it's a little bit hard to go up on it, but... Oh, no. We need to move you out. Quick, 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 quick. Alright, you're going to be able to get out of here. Yeah, this hill, man, is a killer. Okay, we're good here. We can't afford to lose you. 30... 40% uh, of their 12 now. Perfect. Right, try and wrap further around. Let's speed things up. Oh, perfect. The enemy general's gone now. And that should... Oh, we feel getting attacked here. That? I believe it's just those skirmishes down in the south there. That are holding. Good victory with a bit of a... A huge string of an army that we've managed to get together. Holy fuck. Especially... Well, I suppose no one expects the, uh, the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting them to attack me again. That seems to be the theme of this campaign. Multiple factions attacking me. Alright. Still have to be a little bit protective of the, uh, the general here. 
Maybe let's go out into a loose formation so we can try and grab some of these skirmishes that already seem to be kiting me over here. Like, we kind of use it, these units as a bit of a net. Oh, here we go. It seems to be working. Our noble brothers have lost their leader. Without their general, oh, shit. I guess one of these generals was lost. Shit. Well, maybe putting him in a loose formation isn't the play. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle. There we go, they're now broken. A worthy victory. The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. Alright, we won it. Just took a little bit longer than what I was expecting there. I think what happened is the reinforcing general got crushed. So that's why those two units rounded. But it's a shame that we, um... This is a clear victory. Did really well against Milan and then they fuck the fucking Pope came in and told me not to attack. <laughs> There's not much I can really do about that. Alrighty, 400 lost scenings with that surprise attack is not too bad. I'll take that. Yesterday someone asked you how to replenish your troops in Medieval 2, and you said it was a trait. Do you know what kind of trait? I'm really eager to play this game. Um, I think you just replenish your troops in your castles. I, I think I asked, but no one else replied, was like... There is... So at the end of battle, I, I should have probably showed it there. Damn, I wish I could go back to that. But there's a certain amount of units that get healed on the battlefield. And I believe there's some. there must be some sort of doctor trait or something. So you can get these generals that like essentially heal the army on the battlefield like really, really effectively. I think that's what we were talking about yesterday. I had watched your Game of Thrones Total War series with House Stark. Great game, great series. Yeah, the Game of Thrones mods for this game are a lot of fun. I don't know if people would be um, overly interested in visiting those. Uh, visiting those, I don't know. But that Game of Thrones mod, the last one I played, where it's got all the dragons and all the shit in it, is very prone to crashes. You can just retrain your troops in Medieval 2. Yeah, like we can have a look for example. Um, I suppose we ransom the day is ours. The as they move back to Spain, and then we'll rally everyone up here. Are you certain, noble one? Let's get some more crossbows here. Your will. Can I get any more additional, additional reinforcements there? No, I can't. Yeah, so for example, you just go retrain, and if you spend the money, you'll be able to retrain those units. If that's what you're talking about. Oh, Florence isn't very happy. Oh, it's because I moved those units out and we've got the tax rate super high. That's fair enough. We probably should upgrade the settlement, matter of fact. Well, was anyone excommunicated? England was. Yeah, so Spain does have Bordeaux. They have a little bit in France. We just don't know exactly what's going on over here. I still want to try and keep my spy in and around this territory. Uh, you're pushing down towards Byzantium still. You're moving down here as well. I suppose I could make peace with Milan. Seriously. Yeah, I really don't want to get excommunicated if I can afford it. Oh, we have that other priest in Alexandria. I want to move you eastward if I can. Tripoli has really bad public order. Okay. The Byzantines have dropped another army over here. Hilarious. Alright, I suppose I move you to... Tunisia. 
Just try and disembark you as quickly as possible. We don't want any roaming fleet or army to attack me. We've even got another priest here. Well, maybe we eventually move you to Jerusalem. So, uh, cease hostil hostilities to Milan. We can do that. We still have plenty of time for the Holy Crusade. We're currently at war with Spain, Milan, and the Egyptians. But overall, I'm just sort of checking my garrisons. We've got enough. Yeah. Shame we couldn't take uh, Milan, but I do want to try and keep amicable relations with the Pope. Alright, I suppose we go back down here, and we can siege this one out. Two to one. This is going to be a little bit tough, because the Sultan is in here. Sultan Musa. Wow, seven-star commander. Mostly peasants, but the... Faction leader being in there is giving them this two to one. Alright, let's fight this one upon the battlefield. are ungodly beasts and so we are but the swords in the hands of the hosts of heaven we do God's glorious work and if we fall we do so in his course if we triumph we do so because he has willed it now bow your heads then let's to the appointed task our foes today are crack brains it is true but they are masters of deceit. These Egyptians doubtless scheme and hope to win the day, but they are fools to assume that our honor is to be cheaply overthrown. All right, let's start the deployment. Okay, uh, looking, I was just sort of looking at the settlement just then. It looks like she kind of a little bit. A tricky one to take. Is that not being textured there? Oh, I was like, why is that so different? It's actually a two-tiered settlement. Oh, this is going to be a really good stronghold for us to take. Wow. Well, suppose we move up our equipment. We go for a multiple pronged attack. And we're probably going to need to protect the battering ram as well and eventually move it on up uh, cavalry uh, if you have an opportunity to charge into the settlement it's probably not a bad idea I suppose we keep the ballista hmm I guess we move it up because we kinda wanna maybe neutralize those towers if we can I don't know how accurate or overly effective they're going to be they probably don't pack that much of a punch because they're only just your stock standard ballista. And what have we got in the rear here? Some crossbows that are probably not going to be able to arc their shots. So we're better off keeping them. And then I guess we have the great Holy Cross. We have Jesus in our ranks. Okay. Jesus is alright with me. What is that song? Jesus is alright. <laughs> Oh, God. Let's, uh, move you up. Hmm. We're gonna have to be a little bit protective of the battering ram. I think you can actually move... ladders up over here, but we'll see how we go. But once we take this settlement, we're gonna be able to take Jerusalem. Been a little bit delayed to get there, but that's okay. There's nothing we can do with this anyway. There's no ability we can press. Alright. Oh, it actually engulfed in flames. Shit. Alright, let's move the other one up. Yeah, maybe we should have moved up at the two at the same time. 
Sometimes it's worth it, but sinnings, there's two gates. I didn't want to do it. Alright. Move you here. So what have they got here? They're peasant archers. They're peasants. Their peasants are actually armoured slightly. So they're a little bit better than what you would normally consider. We've got a really nice diverse army build. We've got some Sudanese tribesmen fighting for us. We've got Crusaders. We've got Sicilians. Alright, try and get up and onto the wall as quickly as possible. Same with you. Hopefully the second ram can favour a little bit better. Now you're flanking around this way. Zero percent. Seems to be slightly better as we move on up. Cool, let's give out some attack orders here. Alright, try and disembark you. We do want to try and hit their bodyguard though as quickly as possible. Maybe flooding in our own cavalry. Because the Sultan's heavy cavalry bodyguard are fantastic to say the least. Okay, so the second ram has been a little bit more favourable than the first. And it's starting to break down the city walls. We've lost 12% to their 13, so although we're losing a bit, we are more or less trading with them. Alright, make sure everyone's got attack orders on the walls here. The tribesmen are getting stuck in. Nice. 80% before we push on in. Did those ballista really do any damage? No. Like 23 is absolutely nothing. They might as well have not been firing. Okay, so what have they got here? Peasants? Mostly peasants. So maybe we just charge in everyone. Just full fucking send it. Like, for example, if there's a bunch of spearmen here, it's probably not a good idea moving in the cavalry, but if we just move everyone in, we should be okay. Alright, maybe... Make sure that everyone's got an attack order going. But we're charging on in. We are... We might as well actually equip to that ram, because we're going to probably need it. It just depends. Give grace to God. We have captured the enemy's walls. If the enemy retreats into the town square, we won't need to use the battering ram. Alright, we're starting to engage their Egyptian bodyguard now. Our crusaders are moving on in. So this will be, if we're successful here today, this will be the second sultan we have toppled. Alright, let's try and group this up just to make it a little bit easier for me to identify units. But yeah, let's give out some multiple attack orders if we can. Alright, so yeah, some are running back. Just turning into a little bit of a grind at the moment. Alright, they're moving more up here. Unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our okay. This is a little bit closer than what I would like. Maybe if we can snipe the general. We are chipping away slowly. I don't think we're in range for that special rally ability to really do much. We are chipping away at them though. But like these units here, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> We've done like nothing there. Okay, you're still doing well up on the walls. Like I can't like sort of try and flank around. There we go. Something like that. Like just try and charge a bit more. Because sometimes you can kind of break this line and move around on in a bit better. There we go. So Sultan Musa is no more. That's huge. That's probably going to make everyone on the walls capitulate. There we go. Try and run them down. 
they have lost half their men. Yeah, don't allow the people on the walls to overly escape. Alright, let's get some cavalry to try and run them down. Okay, so it's 71 to 44 now. We nearly... Mm, I was going to say, it might be beneficial for us to actually just keep running after them. What's in there? Nothing too crazy. Um, I might actually move the battering ram up. If we can, like... Run after them, right? If you, if we can somehow get in... Ah, uh, they're going to close the gate on them. Ha, <laughs> poor men. Alright, let's move further back. Okay, we need this additional battering ram to come up. And then we'll move on in. If not, we're going to have to take the ladders away. Well, watch out for these arrow towers here. Well, I suppose we grab everyone. Try and go somewhere around about here. It's probably safe to move the general in as well. As we push towards the last gateway, hopefully we can make our way on in. There's only two units there. Yeah, sometimes you can charge and catch them as they're running back, or sometimes they just simply... Let them die at the front of the gate, and not let them in. <laughs> the battering ram is in place. It will not be long but at the end of the day, this was an offensive siege. So we have lost a decent amount. Dude, this siege for... This settlement might actually be tougher than taking Jerusalem. Alright, let's charge on in. For the last stretch. Yeah, 45%. Crikey. We've had to do a siege. We had to fight an army. As we've left Cairo. Alright. Try and push his mam looks a bit further back. The battle is in our I know you're exhausted, but we just need to go for this last little stretch here. Victory will be ours. Alright, try and angle something like this. We've initiated the countdown. Fantastic. Dude, it's nearly 50% now. Holy shit. We might actually need to send some reinforcements. Uh, but to be fair, we've probably got plenty of time. We could actually use this stronghold to retrain and repair. Wow, what a siege. You gotta give it to the Egyptians, they really made us fight to the last man. So we deployed 1,600. Lost 700. They deployed 1,000. Okay. It's a shame that we lost half. Would have liked a lot less. But... It's not like a 1,000 like it could have been. Okay. Yeah, so, as you can see, some of the Italian Spear Militia got healed. Yeah, I think there's a trait. There is an ability to, to farm this a bit better. But in 1100... Wait. Yeah. 1164. Is that what it is? We're nearly 1212 AD, fellas. <laughs> a little bit away. There's daggers in men's smiles. Oh god, what an ominous quote that is. Okay. Let's exterminate. Sacking. I don't know if we'll be able to hold. 
But let's try and replenish and repair as we can. Oh, we even can get some dismounted Norman Knights eventually. That'd be fucking awesome. If we can get reinforcements, that would be ideal. Alright, maybe let's try and get some of these from... Cairo, if we can. How many slots do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So I suppose we move this out and see how it affects the pop. If we lower the tax, we can get more back. We'll lower the tax and do the same here. Because I think we just need that a little additional amount of reinforcements. There doesn't seem to be... Uh, doesn't seem to be too crazy of a garrison here. Right, everywhere else is fine, I believe. You need to move further back. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see if the Milanese actually attack me. Anyway, we played a couple battles there, so uh, let's just chuck a safe and continue. Yeah, so they did attack me. So I'm going to withdraw. No, the Byzantines have redeclared war upon me again. The enemy lays siege, my lord, but God is with us. Settlement besieged Palmyro. Venice is now the strongest faction. I've had a little bit of desertion. Kind of got ganged up on there. Do we still need to... Yeah, we still need to stop fighting them. Your will. Your yes. Yes. Dude, I could crush them so hard here. They're actually baiting me. Fuck. Sicily got an ugly color on the map. I don't think it's... I think it's fine. I actually don't mind the grey, looks kind of cool. Alright, let's move yes, back Lord. to Genoa. Move everyone in. Alright, let's try and get that reinforcements to Gaza. Palmyra has something special about it, everyone wants it. Yeah, there must be some... Uh... Ancient holy relic or artifact in there. I don't know. Maybe the Ark of the Covenant is secretly in Sicily. I don't fucking know. Everyone seems to want it like really bad. I think it's just player bias. Seriously, I think that's just all it is. In the sense that the AI just targets the player. Which makes sense. Alright, what are the uh, Byzantines moved up? Oh, absolutely nothing as well. I still don't trust the order as all. Well. But we'll fight this one. I think we just aggressively charge. Even though they're horse archers. But they hamper my trade every single time they siege it. I just hope we're going to be able to run them down. The Holy Grail is hidden beneath the castle. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Alright. Let's move you out. So you're attacking this. You're attacking that. And we'll try and move you around this way. Not the hardest battle. We should be okay. Well, hang on. Why are you fighting? Hang on. 
and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Oh fuck, hang on. They're holding slightly more than what I was sort of thinking. Compared to last time. Shit. What's back here? Peasants, okay. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Right. The enemy are back. There they go. They have lost half Good. their men. They were just holding there weirdly. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Just need a repair. This is the AI is bugged. I don't know what you mean by that. Goes to only men of great virtue. All right, let's get rid of them. Uh, I was actually heading down to Byzantium to try and get trade with them. Al Mustaine of Cairo. You can't call yourself a Cairo. I only have six spearmen charging and the rest are standing behind you. I don't know what you mean by that. You are lucky we oh, they actually want peace. Um. Oh, I was going to demand a settlement just for curiosity's sake. But I said maybe they only have one settlement left, Egypt. Oh, maybe. Oh, okay. Looks like they're going to probably give us a bunch of money for this. Privilege. Oh, 5,000 gold's quite a bit. I suppose we try and get this done. Just rejected. Maybe 4,000? For trade? Yeah, they're going to accept. Perfect. Wait, did we give them money? Oh, fuck. Did I... Oh, I think I fucked up there. Because I had to renegotiate. I think I accidentally offered them all my money. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, well, at least we got trade. Uh, whatever. Those cheeky motherfuckers. Yeah, you need to move here. Yeah, I, keep, I guess we keep moving you back. Yeah, Milan still don't want peace. So, Spain, Venice, Milan. I think you gave them money. Yeah, I did. <laughs> that happens. It was a misclick. Alright, we still got some more units coming on over here. We still need to make a play for Jerusalem. If we get these units in, we will have enough. Ah, the navy got attacked in the end. Okay. We're going to need it because we are getting some desertion as well. France don't fucking like me now for whatever reason. Okay, so this is enough. Let's move to Jerusalem itself. I still want you to head to Byzantium, Constantinople. That's for taking their settlements. I suppose so. They must have a settlement down here. I don't know where it is. Exactly. Uh, is there any Italians here? No. Maybe we negotiate with Venice. 
Maybe we need another diplomat to go to fucking Spain. Because we constantly seem to be at war with them. For whatever reason. Alright, money-wise. Uh, we probably should build a small chapel here. Alright, you need to move into Tunisia. We're taxing it quite high, which is fine. Uh, Tripoli probably needs to... That can be left there. Uh, we do need to retrain here, though. Probably need to get more cavalry here eventually as well. Because, like I said before, we do constantly seem to get attacked here. It might actually be worth upgrading this to a fortress eventually. Already taxing the hell out of this. Okay, I suppose... Yes. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to wait before we go to... And hit Milan or Venice. So I guess we move this army out to Florence. And we'll move this here. And then we'll move this army up when need be. Once this expires. We've still got five turns before we can hit Milan. But we did chip away at them, so I suppose it's worth. Alright, one turn before we have the Siege of Jerusalem, though. Let's end the turn and continue. Oh, hang on. They want me to block the port of Zaragoza. Um, do we even have a navy anymore? I don't believe so. I still could, like, move you here. Get a ship and then do it. You know what I mean? Oh, the Moors have Calgary. Seriously? Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, well, let's uh, do that then. France has joined the Crusade. We've still got a bit of desertion going on. Tripoli can be upgraded. Yeah, we kind of need to be quick because we can't afford this um, unit to actually take it. I suppose we've got a watchtower here. Just to gain some line of sight. Alright, let's attack this army. Oh! Ah! Fuck ya! Yeah. We just made peace with them, eh? That's annoying. Yeah, I suppose we just tear up this trade agreement. Because we're going to have to attack them if we want to take Jerusalem. So we're back at war with them. So I can siege them out. Oh, we lost that ballista in the end, did we? Okay, still move you to Constantinople. Uh, maybe we negotiate with Venice. Do they want peace? They do. It's never ever lasting peace, but we can always get some money out of them. No, maybe we can't this time around. Okay, they barely accepted that. Not that I ever trust it. Just the more we can... The more peace we can get, the better. Okay, so... So you can live in Constantinople. Uh, I guess we would keep you down here. You should eventually... Maybe try and negotiate with this Spanish army, but maybe even send a diplomat permanently to Spain. Because they seem to be really aggressive against me. Have you had your coffee today? You're moving so fast. <laughs> I have. I have a coffee every... First thing I, when I get up, have a shower, make some eggs, and brekkie, and I have coffee. I'm flying. No, I think I'm just concentrating on the game. You guys can ask me more questions. Feel free, but chat seems to be a little bit less active today, which is whatever. I don't mind. <laughs> whatever reason. There's a fair few in there talking, but... It's not a constant barrage of questions. I seem to be actually plowing through the, the campaign a bit more. I'm probably like 75% focusing on the game. 25 on chat. But I'm having fun. 
Okay, maybe move you north. Dude, Acker isn't controlled as well. By anyone. It's uh, definitely worth going on Crusade. Even though we lost Palmyra. Spain. Hmm. We might be able to get peace with Spain. I don't know about the Byzantines. Uh, do we need more? Oh, I kind of want to get some of those dismounted Norman Knights. Those dudes look fucking sick. Whoa, that's a big fucking army. Holy shit. Can you guys fuck off? We actually just might... No, we might actually need to not get them. Hang on. Dude, that is probably the biggest force they've ever landed here. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, dude. It's fucking Sicily. People just want that settlement so much. Oh my god. Yeah, it's entertaining when you're just talking and playing. We're just paying attention. Yeah, I'm just chilling. I don't care. Come and go, you please. Leave me on the background. Chat, don't chat. Whatever. I'm still doing my thing. Okay, so we need to hit this. So what's that going to give us? How much money? Now we will be able to get some better units. We fucking might need them in um, Sicily itself. I'm still one turn away with potentially getting peace. I suppose it matters what happens to this army. Yeah, I would like to retrain, but we just don't have the money. Oh, we can actually buff the tax rate up here now that I've got a full stack in here. And here as well. Let's just um, start squeezing these people if we can. I don't want to go into the yellow though. Okay, let's uh, move on. Okay, I don't know if they they siege, did they? No, they haven't. Well, we might be able to negotiate with them. Oh, they do want peace. I was... I had a feeling they might. So will they give me 5,000? Because that seems to be the going rate for something like this. I do actually want to get this done more, so I'm happy to accept less. Because if I have to defend that settlement again, I'm going to lose my shit, I think. Maybe let's go with um, 1,500 then. Okay, that's been accepted. Perfect. You can beat that army up, no worries. You're probably right in a defensive siege. There's probably a lot more ballista and archers that I can't see. Just not seeing these cards does make me worry. Is Turkey dead? They could have died because of dynastic crisis. Um, I don't believe so. No, Turkey's still here. They're, at, they're allies with Hungary. That's probably not a bad shout. We probably should try and find the Turks to get trade. But you're right in the sense that they have... You'd think they might have Antioch or Acre or something. You got me back into this game. A limb. Thank you. It's a good game. I highly recommend it. It's cheap as chips nowadays, I'm pretty sure, on Steam. The Byzantines can be full of war machines. If so, it's easy to take down. Yeah, and the Cav as well. We might actually be able to siege Jerusalem now, matter of fact. Continue to get that chapel. Let's get some dismounted Norman knights over here. Okay. Are we going to be able to still block that port? I hope so. Back on the diplomacy front. Can we get that peace again? No, they're really not interested. Or well, maybe we do it, because 
that's actually I haven't I haven't even bothered to look at the list. Matter of fact, we probably should look at that because that's always curious to have a squeeze at. So let's have a look at military. So the HRE are up there. To be fair, we're up there. Milan have dropped off a bit. Okay, production. I used to love looking and analyzing this back in the day. We're still up there on the territory. Dude, who's this? Is it Scotland? <laughs> Who the fuck is this red line? Hungary. Oh my god, they must have spent a fuck ton. Scotland has all the money in the game. Population. I want to have a look at territory. Because this is always a good way to see who's got what without using the, um... The Fog of War cheat. So the Papal Sea haven't expanded. Oh, neither has Scotland, actually. Oh, uh, Egypt only have one territory left. Well, maybe it's better off to go down there and crush them. The Turks... The Turks haven't really moved, actually. They haven't conquered anything. Hang on, if we go one by one by one, we're actually going to be out of sea. Obviously, so I started at two. I'm now at nine. The French started at five that are now at six. The HRE started at six, now at eight territories. Spain has increased to four. Venice has can... Wow, they have seven? Uh, England are expanding. Milan have actually gone down. Scotland have not done much. Byzantines have grown a bit. Same with Russia, the Moors. Yeah, the Turks still have their four central territories, whoever was asking about the Turks. So they've probably got like Ankara and a couple others here and there. Egypt, the Danes, Portugal, Poland. Alright, cool. There's everyone. Do you want to try and get some more Cardinals if we can? Hungarians are always on, fam. Yeah. Okay, I think we went through all the diplomatic channels. Oh, no, we didn't negotiate with Spain, actually. That was one of them. Yes, sir. Ready to trade. Where to, sire? Oh, we've got a little bit of money still to spend. I suppose we use that to retrain these units here first, and then we get more armoured sergeants eventually. How are we going, family tree-wise? Simon is 45. He's got more children coming. Prince Alberto will be the future king. I saw Fenzo, who's 50, got grey hair. kind of scared me a bit. But the Sicilian-Norman family tree is um, secure for now. So it's only Milan, Egypt, and Spain we're at war with. We're still bunkering down overall. Florence is a little bit unhappy, so let's stop that. So we only need to get rid of Venice, Milan, and we need six more territories. It just depends if Venice, if Venice or Milan get excommunicated, we might have to really push against them. Because we need to eliminate them, but hang on. So Milan only has... Well, Milan only has Milan. Well, that's why they stopped them. Normally the Turks are powerful. Yeah, they usually build a pretty strong empire. I need to fix Nightbot. He's spamming all that shit way too quickly. I spaced that out over hours, but why is it dumping it all like that? It's annoying as fuck. I'll have to fix that after this stream. What about Venice? Venice is seven territories. That's going to be a hard faction to destroy. They must have like Balkan territory or something. Or they might, they must have heaps of territory here. I don't know. Oh well. Anyway, um, I suppose we have the Siege of Jerusalem, eh? Let's fight this one. So what do they got inside? Uh, two units of peasant archers, spear militia, some Arab cavalry, and some camel riders. Nothing too crazy. Alright, let's fight this one. 
on the battlefield and take Jerusalem because Jerusalem is such a important settlement to take. If you do take Jerusalem, you get a worldwide public order buff, like faction-wide. So you really should try and take it if you can. It essentially acts as a invisible wonder. Some people may or may not know that. I don't know the exact percentile, but it's quite a bit. It's like worth to take. Now we take up the sword and buckle on our armor. We look to the virgin to watch over our souls. We do all these things knowing that peril is close by. But I do them with a glad heart because I am surrounded by good men. These rebellious knaves and villains are not fit to breathe the same air as we honest men. They must all die before dawn comes again. This is a mercy, because they richly deserve the gallows for turning against their betters. What is your favorite Total War all? I see the foe there. Uh, mine's Rome too, all this. But Rome 1's up there. Milan is always ready for war, yeah. They seem to be very hyper-aggressive in this for whatever reason. But that's just medieval 2 for you. But hey, we're just having fun with this campaign. We're taking it slow. We're role-playing here and there. Okay. I think we're good. Let's uh, start the battle. I don't know how much more Italian territory we're going to take, but we are forming a Crusader States Kingdom over in the Far East, if we ever need to flee to. Yeah, it's just annoying that Milan and Venice are, so, are part of my victory conditions. Another Catholic faction, so I believe we're going to have to eventually betray the Papal See. Although I don't necessarily want to do that. Because I think historically... The Pope actually backed our claim more than the HRE, to be honest. Okay, they are peppering us slightly here. Like, we're going to be able to get Milan eventually. If we can hit them in one fell swoop. Venice is going to be a little bit of a harder task to deal with. But maybe we take 15 regions and just call it that. I don't know. Depends on you guys. We can always hold it to a vote. The ladders are now in place. Walls are or maybe we make our own victory conditions. And force of arms. Because the way the victory conditions are set up, we will probably more incentivized to actually go into Greece maybe against Venice than to actually set up this Eastern Empire oh why are you going up this all right let's make sure we give out some attack orders but let's take Jerusalem the battle is in our favor if we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Alright, the battering ram is here. We're going to be able to make our way in. Okay, they're in a retreat. Let's move down here. Let's continue to give out some attack orders here. Yeah, it's just going to be hard to chip away at those Catholic factions unless they're excommunicated. Because we're only going to be able to take one or two settlements from Venice before we have to wait a bunch. So it is tough to juggle. I don't know. I kind of don't want to betray the Pope. But I might have to. Okay, let's drop that and let's charge everyone in. I imagine that their camel riders are the units that are sitting more in reserve. I don't know. Do you guys betray the Pope in this series? Let me know in the chat. 
All right, 40% to 11 now. I think most people do. I did it in my HRE campaign just because it's annoying. But that had a... The thing is, if you play the HRE, the settlement density in Central Europe, France, Belgium and stuff, like, the territory is so valuable. And you can fund more armies. And it's really defendable as well in those mountain passes and choke points. So this is kind of a tough one. But it is interesting that Milan and Venice are the victory conditions, like the sworn enemy. Or maybe that's because I picked short. Maybe it's just Jerusalem and 40 regions or so. Like, we might be better off just to go for the long victory instead of the short. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, okay, you need to be... Um, I was like, how are you possibly getting hit on the walls? Okay, they're now retreating. We want to make our way into the town square as well. Those camel riders are a little bit harder to break down. You should try a Russian campaign. That's one of the hardest and most interesting. Yeah, maybe at some point. But, you know, with all the stuff going on in the world at the moment, YouTube can be kind of funny with a particular campaign like that. You know what I mean? Like, we're talking about a different, a completely different time period and, and then we're talking about like czars and stuff, but. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, even if I really, really wanted to do a campaign like that, it can be funny. Doing stuff like that on YouTube, I kind of wince at it. Demonetization and all that sort of shit, you know? Alright, clear victory. We only lost 300. Not bad. And Jerusalem is now ours. Perfect. I suppose we exterminate. I wonder what the population is here at the moment. Like, what is it? 83% Islamic. 11% Orthodox. Yeah, so there was no, like... Any Catholic... Percentile, 6% heretic, <laughs> lol. Alright, let's retrain. Wow, so we should get some really good traits here now. We get a bunch of dread. King Simon Merciless Mauler. The Vale of Verona. Oh, sorry, v Verona? Veronica. This veil was used to wipe the sweat from Jesus' brow. As he carried the cross, leaving his image imprinted on the cloth. Oh, awesome. Plus chivalry. A hospitaller knight. Accompanied by a hospitaller knight of St. John. Templar knight. The crusade has been successful. We've been rewarded with some unit experience. And 2,200 florins. They are kind of slow to take a rebel settlement. I never liked that in my games. Maybe they're just, um, preoccupied. King Simon the Crusader, like the Turks, for example. Oh, wow. I think we, we're mostly dreaded, but I think it's swung back around because we've become a Crusader. Crazy amount of authority, though. And piety. 
So yeah, we should get a massive public order buff. So we actually probably can chuck a lot of this stuff on a higher tax rate. Yeah, as you can see, look at this. We can bump up the tax rate in Cairo to nearly very high. And we couldn't before because of that bonus of holding Jerusalem. Yeah, like regardless of who you're playing as in Medieval 2, if you can hold and take Jerusalem, it's really worth doing it. Oh, okay, the Egyptian Navy's moving there. Because now we can bring that over to these settlements and charge people an absolute ton for it. I might actually keep Gaza as a um, fortress. Might be a good idea. Right, we want to get small chapels in here eventually as well. To convert the religious populace. Uh, maybe we upgrade Tripoli. I suppose we get a port in Tunisia. Oh, it actually might be a good idea to upgrade. Palermo. We've got more stuff retraining. Let's invest there. So we need to negotiate with Spain, Milan, and the Egyptians again, potentially. Okay, we've got 300. So maybe we just get another priest. Uh, you guys need to head over here, though, as well. How much have we converted this? 47, 54, 4%, and 0. We could actually make a play for, like, Acker as well. If we want to. Good stuff. So we have 10. Yeah, I, actually, you know, what? I'm just going to go to the main menu real quick. I'm actually curious about that question I just asked. We'll load back in. So if I go... So what are the... Yeah, so it's just 45. 40, so a long campaign is 45, including Jerusalem. So you can go wherever you want. I guess that's the counter, isn't it? So, all of these Jerusalem? Yeah, so... Oh, Granada, Constantinople. Oh, so not all of them are Jerusalem. Yeah, I was just curious. Anyway, let's just load back in real quick. Yeah. They're a hard faction to play as. I agree. Mongols, horse archers. I would imagine sieges would be a fucking nightmare in a campaign like that. To be fair, I think there's some pretty decent orthodox infantry that you can eventually get. Alright, I suppose I end the turn to continue. Maybe Milan want peace now. I speak on behalf <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I ain't giving you Genoa. I want peace though. You know, we might actually be able to get a decent amount of money from them. You would imagine the Milanese are quite wealthy. Demands. 7,500. I need to make sure I don't actually give them money. That's the last thing I want. I am afraid I must deny okay. I want to demand. 5,000 then, I suppose. Ceasefire, ceasefire, demand. Almost. Okay. Not quite acceptable. Let's go with 3,500. Trade, trade, demand. We cannot... Okay, maybe it's the trade that's doing it. I don't know. Or maybe they actually don't have the money. So maybe we just go with that. Demand. Yeah, maybe they just don't have the money. Oh, well, I guess ceasefire and trade. For now. 
do a campaign as the Turks. They're ridiculously overpowered. Yeah, I'd imagine they're probably the same as probably Russia. A lot of horse archers and stuff. We can get an Explorer's Guild in Jerusalem. Sure, I'll pay for that. Agent Detected France. Faction Announcements. Damn, unfortunately my diplomat in Constantinople just died. England have been excommunicated. <laughs> So who are we still at war with now? Just Spain and Egypt. To be fair, it might not be in our best interest to get to make peace with Egypt because if they've only got Jeddah, we might be able to completely destroy them. All right, let's negotiate with Spain though. Uh, it just seems like there's a bit of um. A time of peace coming up here in Europe. Everyone wants to have peace with me for whatever reason. Yeah, maybe some of them just don't have the money now. 1,500 would be ideal if I can get as much as I can get. Okay, they're going to accept that. Awesome. So we're not at war with any major European power. Still got a firm alliance with the HRE and the Papal See. That has seriously helped us out in this campaign. Alright, I suppose I keep you around the Genoa region. It might not be a bad idea to get... Dude, we could even do with a diplomat in fucking... Our capital. The amount of times we have to... Make peace with some aggressor attacking it. <laughs> Alright, let's try and... Retrain it as well. Uh, we've got armored sergeants on, on the way, which is fantastic. We also probably could deal with some more military forces down here. We might as well retrain what we've got. Cool. We can actually move these armored sergeants to Jerusalem then. Uh, what's in here? Oh, a priest. I suppose we move you to Jeddah because we're eventually going to want to attack it. Alright, can I move some of these forces? Like, we probably could move out of Alexandria. It doesn't need to be there. Like, this large of an army. Oh, wow, they're really upset if we try and move that out. Because I want to try and protect Jerusalem at all, all costs. I kind of want to take Acre, and if we can get rid of the Egyptians in Jeddah, that'll be good. I don't particularly want the settlement, but if we can just completely... Never have to worry about them. That'd be really uh, valuable for us. So let's move those guys out. Yeah, I'm surprised there's no territory here. Like, you'd think there'd be a, a settlement in Serenica. I suppose there might be in Stainless Steel. Alrighty, everything's looking good up here. Try and retrain where we can. Let's move along. Ah, uh, sure. Let's accept that. Hungary and Poland have made an alliance. Who was exactly married off? Oh. Alberto's son. Yeah, the more family members we can get married off, the better. Yeah, Aleppo hasn't been taken either. Okay, I did get a diplomat here. I still want them to kind of go to Byzantium. But maybe just keeping him down here is probably not a bad idea. Alright, let's move these units east if we can. Let's get some more dismounted Normans. We even get some Muslim archers as well. Because the thing is, there's like three large culture groups in Sicily at this time. We've got the Normans, the Sicilians, and then obviously the people that were left over from the Emirate when it held there, the Muslims there. So that's why we can get like dismounted Norman knights. 
we get some Sicilian armored sergeants, and then we get some Muslim archers as well. So it's quite a decent army roster. Let's trade here. We are retraining as well and recruiting. And then I guess we go to make a play for Jeddah. But everything's looking on the up and up. They still want me to cease hostile activities against Milan. You know what? We actually might need to invest in some siege equipment. Because if we can attack in one turn, we might be able to get rid of them. And then we don't have to ever make peace with them. For example, if we attack this army here, it might not be in our best interest to do so. Like, we might be better off just to go straight against Milan. Because, yeah, if I'm not mistaken... Yeah, they still only have one territory, which is Milan. Oh, they want me to block this port still. Oh, we need to... Yeah, no, we're not going to be able to do that because we just made peace with them, eh? Oh, well. Well, that's useless having you here. Let's just get rid of that then. Yes. Awesome. Let's uh, continue on. We seem to have stabilized this campaign a bit. Dude, I nearly threw the fucking toys out the pram. When we lost Palmero. Things looked pretty green around the gills. You have greatly pleased His Holiness by refraining from hostile actions against your fellow Christians. He hopes this newfound peace will last. Nope. You've basically given me the old clear now. <laughs> oh, King Simon has gotten a trait here. What was that? Is that because we got that in Explorer's Guild? Yeah. An expert of blazing new trails through unfamiliar lands and showing his mastery. Whoa! 15 movements given to the army. Holy dickens. Look at that. It cost a thousand and then I guess we left him there. He got the explorer trait. That's fantastic. Yeah, if you've got the money, it's always worth getting those guilds and having generals garrison there. Scotland campaign is also good. They have overpowered phalanx in the late game. Yeah, I don't know about Scotland. Scotland's kind of fun. I do remember playing as a campaign. Maybe it's Stainless Steel? Yeah, I think I've done a Stainless Steel Scottish campaign on the channel. I could be wrong. But if you can take over England... England's kind of like an impenetrable island. I believe I took a lot of Scotland... Uh, uh, Spain with Scotland. That can be quite advantageous. Yeah, look at all these settlements. Uh, free game. Hmm. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, Egypt still have that one settlement. Okay, well, I guess we uh, look to go south, I suppose. We're just going to make sure it doesn't rebel. That's the last thing I want. Alright, let's move these two units here. Essentially, if we can get that to Jerusalem, that would be ideal. And maybe try and just chuck these guys in. Alright, let's get a little bit more military presence here. Yeah, so we're still only at war with Egypt. Yeah, look, we are like... I think keeping it with the highest standing with them is probably the play. We could go to war with England <laughs> and face no repercussions. <laughs> Sail all, all the way up there. That'd be kind of crazy. Yeah, I think at some point I do want to do a toggle foe. Because I kind of want to see how the other factions have expanded. Maybe a bit later in the campaign. Because I'd love to see what's going on here in Spain and in France. Because it's always curious to know. I'm always curious. Okay, well... I suppose we try and make a play for Milan. And I think I might be able to do it. So. Orders. Orders. Do we leave the cavalry here? Uh, maybe some of the archers, or maybe like that. 
Because we can attack in one turn. If we can hit this in one swift motion, I think that's what we want to do. And then we should be able to destroy them. So if I go here, right? We declare war against Milan. Now, the problem is... If I wait a turn... I believe the Pope is going to say, Hey, you need to stop attacking Milan. So if we can attack them within one turn and destroy them... I think that's the play. Love your videos. Greetings from Denmark. Hey, man. Thanks. Gally, I appreciate it. Denmark is a beautiful place. I um, have fond memories of spending time in Copenhagen back in the day. It's a really cool city. And also, um, your, oh, is it your queen? I don't believe it's your current queen, but maybe your future queen is uh, Tasmanian, where I'm from. And, yeah, Princess Mary, she's Australian, and she's Tasmanian, and, um, I'm sure I can say this. Yeah, my uncles uh, went to university with her, and knew her. Because <laughs> we all go to university here in Tasmania. It's kind of fun. But, uh, yeah. She's from my neck of the woods. If Allah is willing, you yeah, I believe I believe the... Uh, is it Frederick's mother still the queen of Denmark? I'm not entirely sure. Alright. So we want more units coming here. Right, I suppose we try and attempt this siege, eh? Orders? Let's try and do it. Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. So not the largest army inside. It's just if my ballista are going to be capable enough. Right, let's fight this one. And if we're successful here today, we're going to be able to take Milan. I'm from Jarlborg slash Jutland. It's much more awesome than Copenhagen. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the how's it broken. Well, Denmark's kind of interesting because there's like the whole like German border. There's a lot of German speakers in the south. Buildings destroyed on the battlefield will also be destroyed on the campaign map. Because, like, Hamburg is right there. Like, my cousin's family uh, come from Hamburg. Okay. Well, this is going to be a little bit tough. I just can't afford to lose these ballista because then we fucking lose. So, there's a lot of moving parts in this siege. Hopefully, we can do enough. Maybe I throw my archers up, just as a bit of a deterrence. Alright, let's speed things up. Also, I don't know about the accuracy of these guys as well. Seven. Okay. Even though we've moved them up, it doesn't seem like they're in range anyway. So, it's probably not worth it. So, let's move you back. I was thinking, oh, if we can move up, it might be worth. But we've managed to get 20% of the gateway down, now 30, and we've used hardly any ammunition. So, I was overthinking about moving the skirmishers up. These guys seem to be relatively accurate. Why can I not see the damage on it now? Huge. Mountains in the background there. I like King Simon. Your king is grand like Simon said. Simon said attack Jerusalem. <laughs> okay.
Yeah, I suppose we can't see what the the damage is now because we moved the archers further back. We are hitting it quite well. Like, we are getting some pretty clean shots. There we go, we got it. Alright, let's send everyone in, I guess. Well, we're... Actually, you know what? Maybe go with a flammable shot and hit lower down. That's going to be a really ambitious shot there for the engineers. But if you could start hitting that, that'd be awesome. There we go! Saw some of them catch a blaze there. They might even move them out. I want to see a shot from this perspective. There we go. Whoa! Well, I guess we just keep this up. Use the available ammunition you have. Why not? Mmm. Crispy Milanese in the morning. Jutland. How are you saying? Jutland. I don't know. I, I don't know how to say it properly. Jutland. Or how you say it in English? Jut. Do I say Jut or Jutland? I don't even know how to say Copenhagen properly. Is it Copenhagen? Copenhagen? <laughs> Copenhagen's where all the hipsters live. Yeah. I know what you mean by that. A lot of hippies as well. Um, I did, um, I didn't really, I don't know if you know about it, I'm assuming you do, but I went to this place called Christian Town <laughs> in Copenhagen. I didn't really fully understand what it was, but like, they're like, yeah, let's go do a tour here. Let's go hang out with these um, people in Christian Town. And it was a, uh, a lot of fun, to say the least. It's a really interesting place. You should look it up. I went there 10 years ago. I don't know. I have no idea what it's like now. But yeah, that place was... Uh, very hippie. Very free love, baby. <laughs> okay, we are really doing well here. These ballista, for whatever reason, the unit is like bugging here. And we're really... Scorching them. Still got a bunch of ammunition as well. My only concern is time that I have to keep an eye on here. For this particular fight. If I could get another unit here, maybe one of the generals, that would be ideal. I suppose we use all this available ammunition, then we move in. I think we go then. So where are their armies? They've got a unit here, and then they've got everyone else further back. Alright, let's stand in the spearmen. I suppose we give out some attack orders. Get this to hold. Uh, maybe we get these guys to target the general's bodyguard, who are slightly more armoured, and we move in. So we've already managed to kill that, get rid of 20% before we've even moved on in, which is kind of huge. How are these guys possibly in range? Oh. Some of those units moved on the... The gateway here, that's kind of crazy. Alright, we're in the settlement now. Let's swarm on in. If we could get rid of the general's bodyguard here, that'd be quite a huge coup for us. Oh, enemy general fallen. We've killed the count of... Milan. Christian channels are all the stoners. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. That's what I was getting at. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know what's going on there now. I I don't know. I didn't I didn't really like fully understand. This Australian's like, oh, let's go on a walking tour somewhere. There's this cool town. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, oh. It's uh this type of town, eh? <laughs> to be fair, I had some delicious burgers there. To be fair, I had some of the best food I fucking had in Denmark there. <laughs> But yeah, interesting place. Kind of wild. I hadn't really experienced anywhere like it. Like, there's this whole thing that they, like, wanted to secede from the European Union or something, these hippies. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of... It's, it's a, it's a whack-looking place. Like, I can't even remember if I had to show them my passport because they're like, they're so like, they, they want to be like independent. You know what I mean? Like this, this one place in Denmark. Although there was like no legality about it. I think I did from what I remember. The guy was like, yeah, show me your passport. Even though I'm in Denmark, <laughs> I've already been let in. <laughs> like, oh, okay. But now everyone was awesome and friendly to me. But I don't live in Denmark, so I actually don't know what it's like. <laughs> Apart from when you're having a holiday there. <laughs> Alright, we've managed to knock out 61% to their 11. Alright, we're firmly in here now. And we've even initiated the countdown, which is kind of huge. King lies at death. My lord, our men have taken control of the city. Oh, cool. We've got rid of the got rid of the duke now. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was sort of getting at, because it's like, I haven't been there in 10 years, like... I would be curious to know what a place like that is like now, pre-2020. When did I go? 2014? No. 2013? I can't even remember. It was a long time ago. Last time I was in Denmark. I hope this plan has worked, though. I believe it has. Only a couple more Milanese left. All of Christendom will be awed by Perfect. Only lost 424. We only lost 420. <laughs> 428. <laughs> they deployed 700. So we're going to get the W here. Not like the good old days. Yeah, I wouldn't advise going there. I don't know what it's like nowadays. But I just think it's... it's an, maybe look up the wiki of it. It's like it's, it's an interesting... Um, thing that is I just didn't know like you, you know what I mean like I just had no idea <laughs> like there's even some history about it as well in Denmark I'd be I never really talked like asked what a Denmark a Dane really thought about it I suppose we just execute because I was just hanging out with fucking tourists and stuff all right I suppose we exterminate And yep, Milan has been destroyed. Perfect. So then the Pope actually couldn't come in and stop it. I believe if we waited a turn and built the siege equipment, 
We might not been able to, we might not have been able to do it. But Milan is now ours. Prince Alberto, our future king, king is really um becoming a decent conqueror. Hell yeah. Maybe get some mines and some more military forces here. It's been a thing since the 50s. Seriously? Holy fuck. I didn't realize it was that old. Alright, we've hit the two hour mark. We've actually gone hour over the two hour mark. So, if you are a long time viewer, you know what that means. I need to go get a coffee. And, uh... Stretch my legs out for a bit. If you're going to be excommunicated for some reason, you should take Rome and reunite your kingdom. Yeah, I don't know. We're sort of... Well, they weren't They weren't the um, happiest about that move, but... Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be marching upon Rome anytime soon. If you take Rome, does that mean all the Catholic factions unite against you? I have a feeling that... Do they? The Pope can still call Crusades. Like the, It doesn't actually destroy the Papacy. So I usually, if I ever attack Rome, I usually do it last. But anyway, I need to go get a coffee. So, let's have a look what we're working with. 11 regions, we've gotten rid of Milan. We need 4 and we need to get rid of Venice. And Venice has a bunch of territory. So we might start chipping away at them. We'll see how we go. But I'm still thoroughly enjoying this campaign. We're still going to play for a couple more hours here today. There's a Netflix show about it. Yeah, okay, maybe I should watch that. Because I just was, like, curious. Like, I just didn't know. Like, I'm sh there's places everywhere. There's, like, these hippie communities and stuff, even here. But, like, I just went in blind. I was just like, what? <laughs> Not knowing anything. I was curious about it. Kind of cool. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to continue conquering some of this rebel territory in the east. Uh, we do want to try and get rid of the Egyptians here today as well. We're still holding here in Sicily and North Africa. We might have to make a play for the Venetians, yeah. So I imagine they've probably got Venice, this Illyrian, maybe some Greek and Crete territory. They might even have some Balkan territory. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, I'll make sure to do a save and I'll be back in a couple of minutes to continue on for a couple more hours. So behave yourselves in chat, fellas. I'll be watching, but... I'll be back.
Okay, I am back. Right, let's get back on the game. Just got my coffee. Oh. And I'm ready to continue with this campaign. Let's go. Also, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to like the stream. Really helps out the future video as well. What time is it here in Australia? It is currently 8 a.m. I usually stream about 5.30 in the morning here in Australia. Get up about four. Takes me a bit of an hour. Sometimes it takes me like half an hour to get the stream going. If I ever have to make a quick thumbnail or change the description or change the game, like the, the metadata and stuff. But yeah, usually things are going at about 5.30 my time. Okay, so you're heading south still. Oh, we can get some unhorsed knights. Or oh, we actually might be better off getting some archer cavalry as well, to be fair. You're a Tasmanian Dutch guy? <laughs> no, I'm not Dutch. There are a lot of Dutch people here, though. Um, you're either... From the British Isles, or, or Dutch or German, mostly, but no, I'm not Dutch. You can even check my DNA test if you really want. I've done that on the channel, but... No. Uh, it's like an interesting split, like, I think it's quite literally, 25% of my ancestors come from Ireland, 25 from Scotland, 25 from England, so, I'm mostly from the British Isles, and then I got 25% Austrian, because that's where my grandfather's from, and then there's like, little one percentiles of like, Scandinavian and fucking stuff, but no. Most of my ancestors are from here, this neck of the woods. Like roughly 25%, give or take a couple percentiles either way, apparently. Those DNA tests are pretty good. Like I already knew, I already had my family tree. So I, I knew the rough breakdown before, I think I reacted to it in that video actually. Like, oh, here are my guesstimates before I even opened it. And they were pretty fucking accurate. In the sense that, oh. It's pretty weird for me to have an Austrian split here. But they mapped that out. Did English people come from the Netherlands initially? Well, that's the thing is as well. Um, the DNA says, don't think of modern countries when you look at the tests. Think of like a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago, ten thousand years ago. That your ancestors came from this area of the map. Yeah. Like millions of years. I don't know how it works millions of years ago because like when did humans move out of Africa supposedly? Was that like was that 50,000 or 50 million? I actually don't know. Like can they even track that? Or do, I guess that that's how they'd know. They'd track it. I don't know. How it works. Maybe it's a scam. <laughs> I don't even fucking know. Just have my DNA stolen. I'm going to be fucking cloned or something. Okay, we've got a bunch of money here. I'm just trying to think how we're best to spend it. We will need to secure these regions. Get them locked down. Well, we've actually got a fair few here, so maybe we don't need to spend on militia, like... If we get another one of them, we probably don't even need that to be in here. Actually, maybe you move you to Jeru... Um, no, maybe you move here, right? Then we get two from here and we rally up.
but yeah, I know what you mean. Like, even though the DNA says you're from the British Isles, like, is that Anglo-Saxon? So it's like German <laughs> to some extent. I don't know. I think I think it's the DNA technically from the the Picts and the, and the maybe the people who lived there. But then it's also like the Romans and shit. Greetings from Rome. Like the video as always. Thanks, Noir. How's the Eternal City going these days? <laughs> Your order, number one. Yes. It's been a while since I've been there as well, to be fair. Uh, I suppose we continue with trade here. Maybe just getting ports all around is always a good idea. We're at a time where we can really invest in a lot of these territories a bit more. Palmero looks quite strong. Yeah, so there's actually the indicator um, when live streams start. So 5.30 Melbourne time, 8.30 London, 3.30 New York, 12.30 PM LA. It's a little hard to, for me to remember. I hope those time zones are helpful. I think that encompasses like everyone. Like everyone probably knows roughly what time it is in uh, LA, London, or if you're in Europe somewhere, you probably know if it's 8.30 London, it's probably a couple hours around or behind in Greece or something. Okay, I think we maybe try and make a play for Venice itself. Okay. The only... What the hell? Oh, fuck, I misclicked. What the hell? My spy got killed by a merchant. What the fuck? Can you peacefully take over territories? No. Everything's cool in the Eternal City. That's nice to hear. Oh, we might have to move our, spy, our diplomat over here too. For all intents and purposes, act as a spy. Okay, maybe we can stop this. Maybe we just need to get some more military forces. Because I kind of want to continue on the... Conquering initiative if we can. So, we probably move some of these units out of Florence, perhaps. Bunch of rebels here, though, which is interesting. Well, Florence is really quite upset with me if we move heaps of units out. You can buy them, yeah. It's quite a big army there. Yeah, it's because these are essentially Milanese armies at some point, weren't they? Okay, why is the order resolve so harsh on that one? We might need to play that one annoyingly. Oh, no, we should be able to risk the order resolve. These guys are rebels. Dude, I'm so scared about order resolving in this game. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on. What do Venice want? Trade rights? No, I'm probably about to go to war with you. To be fair. Whoa. So what does that mean? Oh, fuck. You're joking. Oh, just as we were like on the up and up as well. Yes. Hang on, have they left Bologna open? Coming of age as well. The HRE have betrayed and attacked me. They've broken their alliance with the Papal See and the Scots and the English are at war. 
bro. I don't... Did we trespass through there? I don't think we did. To be fair, we probably can take Bologna. Oh, those fucks, man. The AI is just so goddamn treacherous in this game. Holy shit. We've been allied with them for so long as well. It's kind of absurd for them to do that. I guess they saw an opportunity. Anyway, King Simon can move down to Jeddah. Because we want to try and get rid of them. And then I suppose we... Try and divide some of the military forces up here. To protect Jerusalem. Simon said, kick out the HRE and unite the kingdom. Okay. Right, I get it. Simon says. Uh. What's your favourite faction? I've mentioned it before, but it's alright. Probably the Byzantines or... The English. Not the Holy Roman Empire. They're not too bad. You just have to be hyper-aggressive with them. Wow. I uh, kind of wasn't expecting that. But to be fair, we're going to be able to take Bologna. So I don't know what the fuck they're thinking. Oh, we've got a princess here. Where are you, Palmyra? Uh, I was going to say, we might be able to marry into someone, we'll see. Okay, so what do we have to deal with? I think we maybe... I suppose we just send a unit to try and take it. Yeah, and we exterminate? <laughs> like, what? We don't want to move the full army in because... There's a plague here. But why would they leave Bologna like that? It's kind of crazy. Okay, so... Then I suppose we just go after this army. And they're going to stand and fight. We should be okay. A lot of crossbowmen, no general, a lot of town militia though. I would have liked to get more cavalry. They even have a little bit more. We are outnumbered slightly. But let's fight this one against the HRE. Then I guess we liberate Florence and try and make peace with them. Did uh, not expect this to happen. Alright, I guess we get stuck into these sausages. These, uh, crank skis. These frankfurters. Is that what he called them? Sausages? I suppose that's what he meant by that. Venice are going to betray you le next year. I'm sure they will. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be a list of people that uh, want to betray us. Flank with you. Uh, maybe let's just advance a bit more. So they have skirmish of supremacy on us. But we probably have artillery on them. So, oh, they, as if these guys went on um, fire at will mode to begin with. All right, try and hit those crossbow militia. Okay. 
Alright, let's move up slightly. Something like this. Okay, we've got my cavalry engaging some of their crossbowmen. Yeah, try and hit into this cluster of units. There we go, perfect. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning. We seem to have range on them, they don't seem to be hitting us. Let's move the general up as well slightly. Uh, what's going to be the biggest problem for us? I don't know exactly, so maybe just fire into the cluster. Okay, they're starting to move some of their archers up. We can be able to trade fire with some of our own. We've even got some of our own Milanese-inspired crossbowmen. I suppose you hit into this. Now, uh, where's that cavalry? Yeah, I guess you just continue to harass and harangue some of these crossbow units. Chip them one at a time. Uh, maybe continue to hit this cluster now. Okay, they're now running back. 14 to our 1. Let's move our cavalry around here. And try and hit the crossbows that are moving up here. Okay, looks like they're going to charge against me. What? Oh, shit. I might have fucking griefed my cavalry here, actually. Maybe just go towards the line. Yep, make way. Okay, everyone's holding. 24% before the initial charge. Hold. Yeah, I have no idea what the AI were thinking in this one. No commanders down here. Bologna taken. You also need watchtowers on the French border. You're not wrong. I think France is kind of depleted in this series for whatever reason. Okay, we're currently trading skirmisher fire. Alright. Continue to flank. But a lot of these guys are now in a, a decent retreat. We might even be able to make peace with them, seeing as we've crushed them so hard. Okay, let's get the general to give chase. And we may need to make sure the cavalry gets up here as well. I really don't want to let any of these guys run, if I can. So they need to get here quick, fast. Like, they're full on with, with withdrawing. Alright, some of them are shaken now. Do to be slightly careful, because we are... There we go, we won now. We hadn't officially won up until that point. But hopefully we've got a lot of them. Like there was a 50 there we probably wouldn't have caught. Fantastic. Okay. So they lost 1,300. Dude, they only killed 100 of us. Absolutely nothing. Really good result. But damn, man, these motherfuckers were so loyal to me. I suppose we ransom. Uh, maybe we execute them. Because, I don't know, that's what you, what, you kind of get. Do you want peace now? Very demanding. Of course. Oh, I've got to be careful not to do the same thing, matter of fact. Oh, I might have misplayed here. Hang on, because I kind of wanted to get a unit to... Here. I suppose this army moves south. 
but it's a little bit away. Still a ally with the papal see. I don't even know who likes me now. The Moors. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe we need to get an alliance with someone. I don't know. This is getting uh, pretty hot and warmed up over here, this territory. So we're going to need more military forces where we can. Uh, I suppose we move you to Genoa. Uh, you can stay here and then we send this army. Well, if I move the um, army out with the siege equipment, it's going to get here a lot quicker. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get the siege equipment safely there. So we might lose Florence, but we might win it if they attack us. Yeah, maybe I should have gone down there. Not wasted that movement. Uh, I guess we get the mining network here. That's quite expensive, but it's probably going to be worth it. Okay, back down in the Middle Eastern theater, you could say. We're doing a lot better down here. We're probably going to have to defend Florence, though. As things stand. No harm getting another diplomat here, I suppose. Yep. You're right, Venice did attack us in the end. A thieves guild in Bologna, sure. A scientific breakthrough in Asia Minor. It has been discovered that an ore from Asia Minor Magnesia. <laughs> I guess they found magnesium. <laughs> yeah, France keep on sending spies. Death stalks the land here still. Oh shit, do I have a princess there? Crap. Is that where she is? I actually want to try and get her to Palermo if we can. Hopefully she's not infected. Oh no, I thought she... Wait, what? I thought it said she was there. Oh, uh, she's not. Anyway, let's still have her move south. We currently have the largest military in the game. Seriously? Scotland with the financial. Byzantines with the pop and production. We have the overall, though. Oh shit, the HRE and Byzantines are allied up. And we're obviously at war back with the Venetians. Still want to get you to build some watchtowers here, big fella, and we'll move to Egypt. Still keeping an eye on. Yep, we should better get rid of them. Uh, let's have a look further north. Okay, so the Turks are still family up here. Maybe I just sort of keep my spy up in this region to see if any other powers try and influence them. Uh, I guess we renegotiate with the HRE again. Oh, so they do want peace. Dude, these fuckers, man. Okay. So weird that the AI just like attacks you then wants to have peace eventually. Having these diplomats has been really invaluable. I don't Another proposition for the Reich? Maybe we're only going to be able to get a couple thousand from them. Ceasefire, ceasefire for a thousand. Agreed. They're going to accept. Do you want your alliance again, you stupid fools? <laughs> After you tore it up. No. Until next time. Okay. Well, let let's me uh, focus on 
the Venetians now, I suppose. Look, these little wars are annoying, but we do seem to be benefiting from them a bit more than our enemies, supposedly. <laughs> so we're only at war with just the Venetians. Oh, and the Egyptians, of course, for now. They are blocking my port here. So maybe it is worth investing in a navy that is so expensive. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we should get a navy. Spend the next couple of turns getting one. Okay. If Cairo or Alexandria get attacked, they're a little bit vulnerable, but it's okay. Mm. I'm worried about Jerusalem, but that should be okay as well. Alright. Got a really large garrison here in Palermo. A, season, a uh, reasonable garrison in Naples. Okay, so that's been liberated, but that probably needs to be garrisoned a bit more. Same with Milan, in turn. I still want to make that play for... Um, Venice, if we can. We might as well just merge this army up, actually. Just to sp um, speed things up, time-wise. Probably can move these two cavalry units back to Milan. I suppose we move to the bridge here, so we can get four units in. Uh, maybe we stop at least one of those naval units if we can get a mercenary up here quickly. Yeah, maybe even the cavalry unit because we did get a bit. I I still am keen to. Fuck, hang on. Oh, we just need that cavalry in. Yeah, I am still keen to build a navy. I mean, no rush to do so. Okay, we're still at war. I think we try and take Venice. But Venice is kind of a hard city to take. I'm not going to lie. Because there's only one way in. And especially if there's a full stack there, it can be difficult. We also need to make sure we garrison this ter these territories. Same with um, Florence as well. Awesome. Let's uh, continue on. Someone else just attacked me. Fuck knows who. Um, Pietro Baladini. Bal Anini. Wait. Bal Balanini. Balini. Okay. Lisa Beta. Is that you? Yeah. Oh, sure. We'll get a general in. He's 16. He's not quite young. Oh, here we go. We can get a St. John's Minor Chapel House in the Far East. That is going to be awesome for us. Yeah, look at this. We can get um, Knights Hospitaller over here. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, death stalks the land. Something we have to be mindful of. Oh, Ario's come of age. Oh, well, that's the uh, future king. Because technically... Oh, Giovanna as well. She's over here. Because we've kind of split up the faction, haven't we? Ironically being that there we started off with two Sicilies. The mainland and the island itself. Oh, wow, she's a fantastic princess as well. Because technically... It Ario should be... The king... Through male preference primogenitor. Okay. Yes. Am I after a suitor Can't marry your brother, okay. I suppose we move in you into Jerusalem. We might get some good traits. Fortunately, he's a bit of aloof. Um, I guess we move you into Jerusalem as well. There's probably no one here that we can marry you off to. 
noble lord. Ready to trade. Oh, why? Why is Alexandria not happy? Oh, it's because the taxes are slightly higher here. Oh, an army's moved out of there. Was that an attack? Okay. I still think that's about the same of what we were looking at before. God's set, my lord. Ready to train. God's will do something. Maybe move you back. Without a trace. I'm done for today, my lord. Where was my other spy? Oh, he might have died. Do we still need another one up here, potentially? Actually, maybe I move you to... Actually, you need to hit this firstly. Maybe I'll move you to Bolog uh, Florence. I think Bologna's still got a plague and it's a little bit susceptible to attack. Any spare money we probably really should trade. Uh, retrain. Anyway, let's run this down. Uh, no need to play that one. Alright, let's uh, try and march upon Venice if we can. Well, you're still pushing south to get rid of the last of the Egyptians, ideally. Yeah, we still have a problem there. With the plague. Oh, the diplomat died because of it. Oh, fuck. The HRE and the Moors have made an alliance, okay. I suppose we hit this smaller army on the outskirts. A lot of Saracen militia, though. Clear victory. Alright, let's move to Jeddah. I was just checking to see if we can make peace with anyone if we wanted to, but we're not with we're not at war with anyone we don't want to be. <laughs> we might actually make a play for Acre actually, because it's just there. There's only four units. Like we could probably allow Gaza to be a little bit weakened if we make a play for it, because to be fair, we do have Ario here now. Sup, Simsy? How you doing? I see the Crusades went well. Yes, Alfonso, the Crusades have done uh, have been very successful. Great success. <laughs> We've managed to take uh, and carve out a really nice kingdom. We're probably about to wrap up the Egyptians as well. They've only got one piece of territory left. But uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. I suppose we just get some peasants and stuff here so we can eventually re-garrison... Jerusalem. I might need to drop the taxes here, though. Oh, it's already on quite low. So, if I move some of this out, how angry do they get? Okay, that's not too bad. Let's move to Acre, then. <laughs> the uh, Byzantines have dropped another army here. They're probably going to attack. Annoying. But whatever. I am prepared. Alright, maybe let's move you north. Uh, maybe let's move some of you to Bologna. Move you here. Okay, let's besiege out Venice. Hmm, this is interesting. We might be actually better off to do the same thing we did with Milan. And risk the siege attempt getting the ballista to try and destroy the gate. So if we do assault this, what do they have inside? Some Slavic mercenaries, really. I suppose they actually have pushed into the Balkans quite hard, quite hard if they've got them. Salvio isn't the best commander either. Okay, let's uh, fight this one and try and take Venice. Not going to lie, enjoying the content. I just came home and eating... Some... I don't know what that is. It's 
Just watching what happened to me. Yeah, thanks, man. Come and go as you please. Chuck me on in the background. Have some tucker <laughs> while you watch. Sounds good. Yeah, still vibing, still having fun. I have many terrible scars, With this campaign. Oh, we need to listen to this speech, though. I'm sure the corpses of our Venetian foes will be well worth looting. As a people, they are overly fond of money. And I cannot believe that they would leave any at home where their ill-bred wives could escape. And at the last, be of good heart! A battle's a little thing set against the works of God. If we fear, we die a thousand times. And I would die but once in the company of good men. So if you would be brave, follow me! Alright, let's get stuck into them. Ooh, okay. It's going to be a little bit difficult. Oh, that's really quite close, that deployment zone. Got to be careful not to get too sucked in close. Oh, those! I hope those towers don't like pepper us. We might need to keep you here just in case we need to flood you f up, just to stop them hitting the ballista. Because the thing is, if we lose the ballista, the uh, siege is over. So we're gonna have to be really quite protective of them. All right. So continue to hit there. Okay, are you in range where you're not getting hit? Yeah, perfect. So we should be able to do it. Hey, this content is always better than lame TV. The only one I watch. TV's my kids and the wife. Always watch content creators like yourself. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. No, I get it, man. Fucking terrestrial terrestrial TV here in Australia is fucking garbage. It's actually, like, not good. Shawarma. Yeah, like kebab meat. Is that what that is? Is that what shawarma is? I don't know. I didn't know how to pronounce it. I, I guess that's what it is. We occasionally have, um... It's called gyros here. It's like Greek kebab. It's that's like nice. I like that. A little bit different to like kebabs and stuff, but that's nice if that's sort of the stuff of it. Lamb. Like Greek yogurt and what is it? Zucchini. That's very very nice and tomato and some chips. Oh. Those fucking things are so good. Making me hungry. Okay. So let's speed things up. Yeah, it is a reinforced gate though. Like, can I sacrifice these peasant archers just to have a bit of a scout? Yeah, why can't I see... Yeah, I guess th there's like a range on it. That you can't actually see how much damage you're doing to the gateway. To be fair, we're... Fucking pummeling through it though. By the saints, this ballista strategy seems to be working really well. Okay, so unlike the Milanese, they seem to be garrisoning further back. It's not exactly like kebab shawarma. I have no idea how to translate it here. <laughs> Let's speed things up. They might move. Closer. Yeah, they seem to be moving some units to the gateway. Because we might be able to get an opportunity. But yeah, speaking of the topic of like TV and stuff, I barely watch TV. I only like 
if I'm out having dinner, I, I like have the news on just in the background. I kind of like that still. But I, I don't sit down and watch movies and stuff that are just on the TV because the amount of ads is insane. I think it's an ad like every couple of minutes. And also, what, what infuriates me the most is they cut stuff. They like censor the shit. Like, I believe, like, I think the Indiana Jones was on the other night, and they just, like, censored all of it. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. You can't censor Indiana Jones. Not last night, but, like, ages ago. I say it like it was last week. It was probably years ago. All right. Unfortunately, we don't seem to be arcing well over this. I suppose we move an infantry unit up to maybe try and take the gateway. Because then we might be able to stop the arrow fire on us. No, maybe we're better off just to full send it in. Oh, they're actually moving back. Because it's going to say we could use our archers to help out. Donna kebab is always good. Yeah. Okay, let's start attacking. So, if the gateway is under our control, we might be able to fire into this. Oh, it's lost back and forth. Yeah, maybe we should have gone earlier. It would have been worth it if... Uh, we could have used our... Ballista to help out. But I mostly listen to uh, podcasts or watch content creators in my fair t spare time as well. It's interesting that your wife watches Some stuff as well. Sunset, like it's the battle, this sort of shit is popular for everyone. Victory. People watching streamers and stuff. That's cool. Okay, let's uh, give out some attack orders. Like, even some of the most popular streamers are female, which is cool. Like, the thing is as well, there's all like there's always niches and like little communities for people. Like, this game is so fucking old. <laughs> and people still love it. And so do I. Love your thumbnails, mate. Appreciate it, Eddie. No, I mean like um, the the Indiana Jones. I think it was like it was like on when I was out there, and and being like, oh, this is the bit where the face gets melted, and they cut it. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Um, that's not how that happens. It's just like a hard cut, and like there was some, like I've noticed it over the years that like they just like cut the stuff, like hard cut. They also sometimes um, this is really wild they usually put the movie on two times speed or they slightly um speed it up so that they can put ads in it like more ads which is kind of wild okay we are pushing here ever so slowly and it's like not like youtube ads where there's like one or two, and you can skip after five seconds. It's like five minutes of like unskippable ads. Like holy shit! Like their model is annoying as hell as well. But I do watch, I do chuck the news on occasionally. But even that's garbage half the time, depending on where you are. Okay, 15 to their 52, so we're going to be able to punch through this. We are going to take Venice, it's only a matter of time. They, up, they cut the iconic moment. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, the moment. I was kind of just like, you can't do that to Indiana Jones. 
I'm sure there's other stuff as well. I believe they cut alien stuff as well. But I guess it's just because of the time and the, uh, the Australian laws here. Just, like, you, like, we have laws with TV. You can't show certain stuff before 8.30, I believe. Yeah, but interesting. I think this thumbnail is uh, actually of a painting. Which is really cool. I believe it's Roger of Sicily. Alright, we need to push past this general's bodyguard. We're doing alright though. And I suppose once we take Venice, we've secured northern Italy. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to hold Bologna, but we've got it. <laughs> It's like you can no longer skip through other channels, I mean. Before the age of 30. No, no, no. Before 8.30. As in time. 8.30 p.m. Uh, everything after 8.30 here in Australia is like fair game. But before then, they're not allowed to show certain shows and stuff. I believe that was the case back in the day, from what I can remember. The enemy general's now fallen. 24% of their 80, dude. We're really punching through this now. And then I suppose we make peace with them again. I'd nearly be inclined for map information because they have like 7, 8 territories. And I'm not entirely sure where. This game is real like real art like the moon and Lisa. Okay. But Leonardo da Vinci would surely create a better AI. <laughs> okay. Interesting take, I guess. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's got to do with just like the rating. But I guess it ruins movies <laughs> before 8.30, I guess. Okay, we're doing alright. Just need to punch through a little bit more here. Then we can swarm in. Also, guys, if you haven't already... Make sure to like the stream, slash future video, I'd really appreciate it. Really helps out to ensure more future streams and uh, more Sicily episodes as well. Alright, let's move up. Awesome, we have initiated the countdown. Let's give out some attack orders, move around here as well. I know you're exhausted, but we just got this last little hurrah if we can do it. But yeah. I don't know. I'm more of a TV show guy, to be honest, than a movie guy. Some people are like really into movies, like movie buffs, but I think I prefer TV shows. Like, I think I just like the story and stuff more so. We've got to be careful of this countdown, though. Only a minute remaining. We're nearly running out of time. We are going to be able to take Venice. But, not going to lie, it was a little bit more trickier than what I anticipated. Alright. Prince Alberto the Merciless. Dude, this guy is really earning his claim to be the future king. Well, he will be. Alright, we lost 700, we deployed 2,000. Not too shabby. And now Venice is ours, which is huge. We're going to be, we're going to be able to make so much money. From the lagoon, <laughs> the lagooners. <laughs> Let's exterminate the populace. 
Dude, another three-star command. Holy shit. Look at this. Prince Alberto. I believe he was a randomly generated general. Yeah, who he married to Matilda. Cool. I kind of wish you could choose future heirs. I know you can with, like, the air crown mod. You can even do it in Stain the Steel, I believe. I don't know. That's one thing that kind of ekes me about Medieval 2. That. It's more like Roman. <laughs> it's whoever's more fit for the job. Rather than uh, male preference primogenitor, which would have been the norm back this time. Yes, my lord. Which is just essentially... Male heirs. Rule first. Do they want peace? No. Yeah. Oh, wow. We can actually see them here. They have Zagreb. Because they've got a watchtower here on the coast. I was wondering why I could see them. Alright, still a little bit away before we can besiege Jeddah. Got a bunch of money for taking it now. I guess we go around and get churches where we can. Maybe in a little bit of military recruitment here. Actually, you know what? I probably should prioritize military recruitment here. Because we've got a lot of territory that we need to defend here now. It might even be a good idea to prepare and retrain. Because although we've taken Northern Italy, we've got to defend it now. Wow, dude, look at this. I, um, when starting things off here today, I didn't expect to be able to take Bologna, Venice, and Milan here today. I thought we'd sort of be cut off. We've expanded quite well. 13 regions, still need two more. We need to get rid of Venice. Once we solidify this territory, we should actually... Maybe push eastward into the Balkans. What do you guys reckon? An order. An order? Where to? Yes. Orders? Okay, if we can't retrain or recruit more, I suppose we go around and try and diversify some of this money. Upgrading. Well, I think we go. Is there not a chapel here in Sicily? Seriously? <laughs> I guess we've had more pri burning issues. Because it was already quite Catholic there. <laughs> I guess we go with the land clearance in Cairo. Maybe even a trader in Alexandria. Awesome. Alright, sorry, I hope you didn't hear that. I just had a block nose. <laughs> Hopefully that worked. I finally got a bloody mute button working. You can't drag the air crown to your air. I don't know in Rome 2, you can... Rome 1, you can do it. Zagreb has a gold mine and other metals. It's a good place for raw income. Yeah, some of that Balkan territory is quite good. It's like, these European territories here are so valuable. Like, look at this, right? Genoa makes 3,000 a turn, Milan 2,000, Venice. Like, I reckon there's more wealth here than the rest of my empire. Naples is quite good, but like Cairo, Alexandria is good because it's on the coast, but Cairo, this Jerusalem's kind of crap. Like, the territory up here is so much more valuable. Okay. Um, right, I was going to check that. Yeah, you can't drag the crown, no. But there's a trait in Stay in the Steel called the Air Crown. So, obviously, here you can you can drag traits around, or retinues. 
Mongols in turn, 64 to 7. They, they might decide to attack Jerusalem. I suppose you're right. It's probably not a bad idea to buff up the armies. It just depends where they go. Oh, the Seljuks might have Baghdad. I'd be curious to see where they deploy from. You never know. This Middle Eastern dream over here might actually end in tears. <laughs> if the Mongols decide to fully commit to conquering us. Anyway, let's uh, end the turn and continue. Cairo make more, might make more money if you have Dongola getting the spice and ivory. Yeah, you've actually reminded me. I probably should try and take that. England want an alliance. What? <laughs> um, I was not expecting this. They're all with Scotland and Portugal and France. They've been excommunicated so many times. I suppose, why not? The king. Uh, can you give me map? I yeah, know. Oh, yeah, we got no friends. Maybe England. No. Will, uh... I don't know. Farewell. Support us to some extent. What does Denmark want? I bring oh, they want alliance as well. Why does everyone want to ally with me? I guess we've been neutral with them for 53 turns. I'll pay the tribute, sure. Hell yeah. Why do people want to um, ally with me? Oh. Why did it flag that? It shouldn't have flagged that. You can't trust the British. They are the fake Normans. Yeah, as I was saying. They probably like us because we're probably technically blood related to some extent. Because these Normans are the descendant of... Um, William the Conqueror and, and Rollo. While we're related to the Normans. Uh, mostly through mercenaries, I believe. It's been a while since I've touched up on my Norman Sicilian history. I think it was mostly mercenaries, then obviously kings and stuff. They want us to cease hostilities against Venice. Okay. We've got another papal election. Oh, well, maybe with that alliance with the Danes and... England, we might be able to get their vote. Let us hear your like, what can I give you? Like, if I give you military access and then, like, a bunch of money? Like, I kind of want to get these cardinal votes, but they, uh... Never. They never seem to work. Actually, can we make ceasefire with Venice? No. Okay, well, I guess we just vote for our Pope, see if he gets gets it. Oh, no, we lost by one, because Venice are in here. Oh, man, if um, England had a vote... Oh, Spain, you fuckers. So the Pope is now Hungarian. Without any mode, dude, how... Do you enjoy this? I don't know. I'm having fun. <laughs> I think it's fun. I haven't done a Sicilian Medieval 2 campaign on the channel before. Just asking, maybe demanding will make them counter offer. I did that before, it didn't come up. Alright, you've come of age. Perfect. Like, Vanilla Medieval 2 is still really enjoyable. Stainless Steel is better. It just takes too long to finish a campaign. And the amount of mods you load in, it kind of can kill a stream. Like, if you're editing YouTube videos, like, I think you'd be surprised how many people, how, much, how many content creators and myself have to edit their fucking videos because, like, mods crash constantly. You'd be shocked. But as we're doing it live... I think it would kill the stream if the bloody thing crashed every fucking half an hour. Like, for example, the Great War mod campaign was a great example. That mod crashed so much. It killed any flow and momentum, so... Yeah. 
I tend to play more vanilla stuff for streams or have light mods just because of the stability. The stability of stability. <laughs> the stability of the stream. Fuck me. So Poland and Denmark are at war. Yeah, so we got that alliance buffer. Oh no, the HRE and Venice have made alliance. Oh great, so now England have been reconciled after the vote. Basically blocked them from voting. Fuck me. I don't know, man. Just got to play what you enjoy. Your orders, noble one. Got to have fun. Yeah, you're right about vanilla. Yeah. Okay, that's trying to reinforce. Your orders, noble one. I suppose we siege out Jeddah. What's in here? Well, they might be luring us into a little bit of a trap. But vanilla isn't perfect. I fully understand that. I get that. But it's still an enjoyable experience, I think. Okay, going with one battering ram and then the four ladders is worth it. Like, this campaign has not been straightforward and easy whatsoever. It's taken a fucking battle. Have <laughs> you guys have been watching? We've had some ups and downs. And now we're really um, being rewarded at the moment. We've got a cool Eastern Kingdom going on. We've got the Kingdom of Jerusalem, essentially. The Kingdom of Heaven. And then we've got this Italian push that we're going with. Okay, we still need to cease hostilities against Venice, though. Yeah, I think keeping and placating the Pope still seems to be the play for me. Yeah, we just can't get that peace treaty with um, Sicily, which is kind of... Annoying. I don't know what I'm going to do with this princess. I guess we just sort of have to wait for you to get married off. We could marry you to a Turk or something, maybe. Because yes. they're the only factions nearby. That could be a play. Try and snatch some yes. fantastic-looking Turkish commander. Like, maybe go back up here. Is anyone here? No, I don't think we want to add it to the Sultan's harem. So... Maybe we try and find someone else. Oh, to be fair, there are Byzantines up here. Because we are quite close to... You kind of forget that we are quite close to there. Oh, we actually can see some of the Venetian settlements. I'm surprised the Turks haven't ex been expanding a lot. Yeah, I don't know. What's going on with them? I, I do think there's some amount of RNG when you start a campaign with the aggressive nature of stuff. Isn't... Like, I can't remember what Total War is that, but there's definitely, like, a role of how aggressive certain factions are every single time. Maybe that's more of a Warhammer thing. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Because, obviously, when you start a campaign, you, the traits are different every single time. Give her a fair, Prince. She deserves him. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't know how that works. I, I can't snipe the faction leader. Even if I wanted to. Okay. Well, I still kind of want to go after Venice, but I don't know how applicable that's going to be. So, what do they got? They have five territories. So, let's try and work that out. So, they probably have Zagreb, one... They've got, like, Albania down here. They've probably got a territory here that I can't see. Maybe... Do they have roads? They could very well have roads or something. So there's three. So I'd say there's probably one or two here. But we should look to expand there eventually. I'd love to get my alliance back with the HRE if we could. I don't know if that's ever going to fucking happen, though. Maybe we negotiate with the Byzantines? Oh, they're at war with Venice. And so are we. I was like, oh, maybe we can get some sort of alliance with them or something. Alright. Let's uh, continue on. We're probably going to get attacked by Egypt. Dude, they're going to attack me. Are they going to get themselves excommunicated? 
Like, how does that work? Because then we can attack them. Yeah, it expired. Ah! Oh, thank God. It got caught on Baghdad. I thought there was going to be a jihad after me. Holy fuck. Naples can be upgraded. <laughs> Poland and Venice have been excommunicated. Fuck yeah, bro. Even though we're quite low, we're not as low as them. The Venetians still have, like, cardinals, though, which is kind of annoying. The not holy Roman Empire, <laughs> yeah. The not so holy, the not so Roman. Empire, yeah. You might be able to call a crusade on Zagreb. No, I don't have the rate, the rating, but that's not a bad shout. Yes. On my way. I shall start All right, back down here. Uh, okay, so they're going to call in the reinforcements. We might be able to night attack it, yeah. Well, let's just do that. I don't know if we're going to be able to see shit, but we'll try and do it. Crown Prince Nasir and Sultan Yusuf. Oh, they've only got Archer Militia inside. Okay. Well, anyway, let's put the final nail in the Egyptian Ayyubid coffin. Let's get rid of Egypt. God will help the faithful prevail. We attack! Is not my way to send men into needless peril during battle. If I ask something of you, it is necessary. And I will not expect more of you than I would ask of myself. I have found that just orders are readily obeyed. And victory is the result. Our Egyptian foes should look to the state of their souls in the last few moments of life left to them. Shortly, they will be judged by whatever god they worship when our swords send them screaming into the afterlife. We have driven the enemy back to his last bolt hole. Now is the time for the last great attack, my brave fellows. Now will your courage be rewarded with final victory. Now, this will need courage. We must advance into a hail of missiles and then kill them. And now any man here who is not praying for our victory had better make his peace with God or he'll find none with me hereafter. Now, bring me my broadsword and let me kiss the cross before I fight. Alright, let's start the deployment. Well, it's not as dark as I would have thought, to be fair. It's interesting that the um, it gave us the advice to push past the hail of missiles. Because they do have skirmish of supremacy. Yo, what time is it over there? I was about to go to sleep. It is currently 9 o'clock in the morning. In the land down under. So, I've already been streaming for about 3 hours here today. So, I'm still down to go for a little bit longer. But you must be European if you're probably going to bed soon. Exactly. Lola. Okay, I, I suppose we go from this way. They are going to out-skirmish us. We've got a bunch of um, battering rams, which I don't know if we necessarily need. But maybe we can get some attack angles. But... Yeah, I could stream earlier, but I just can't. <laughs> I think this is a a really good sort of happy medium for me time wise. Getting up streaming at five thirty in the morning, which is eight thirty London time PM, three thirty New York and twelve thirty 
uh, PM LA time. So I know it's quite late for Europeans. Alright, let's move on up. They're already moving back further into the settlement. Let's speed things up so we can start breaking it down. And once Jeddah has fallen, Egypt will be fully ours. Like the ideal time, I think, is between 10 o'clock my time to about 8 o'clock in the morning. But I can't be that nocturnal. <laughs> it just makes me feel gross. <laughs> I can't do it. I'd rather get up early, spend five, six hours of a morning, or a couple of hours, depending on how the stream goes, and then uh, spend the rest of my day doing something. Makes me go to bed early, though. Excellent. But, uh, yeah, I actually feel great getting up at four o'clock. And then still having the rest of my day. I think I finally found, like, my perfect sleeping pattern. Because usually it was... At uni, I was waking up early. Nine to twelve, but... Yeah. It's kind of hard. Doing YouTube and having a sleep schedule. Because you just sort of like... Well, it's just... If you're on your own boss, you just do it whenever you want. So my sleeping schedules are usually shocking. The thing is as well, like... I have to upload videos at midnight. I don't know. I don't know if you guys know this. I guess there's like, oh, Simpsy uploads at this time for me. Or I know certain YouTubers upload at certain times. Because mine's midnight here. I don't know what the conversion is. But um, sometimes I have to stay up late to make sure the video goes up properly. But most content creators have crappy sleeping schedules. <laughs> Alright, let's move up. Oh, these flammable shots are a little bit annoying. Okay. Let's move on up. Let's move some of these archers in to help out. We've got some cool looking units here, though. For the first time on the battlefield, we're seeing some unhorsed... Knights, some Templars. It makes me kind of want to do a Crusades campaign at some point. Yeah, I don't think I've actually played the expansion on this channel before. We've also got some dismounted Norman Knights helping out as well. And we've got some Turkic Horse Archers. As well. Oh, they shouldn't be too far in, but they should be around about here. Alright, let's continue on. But the beauty with streaming is, you guys don't necessarily necessarily have to catch me live. You can um, watch the video back at any time you want. You can even chuck it on two times speed, because they go for some so long. Yeah, that feature is actually really good. Like two times speed. I can't be the only one that sort of does that. I watch stuff at two times speed. If I don't have the time for stuff, obviously if. Um, You've got the time, or it's a... Uh, like a slower paced video and just need to relax, I know, but... It also depends, people speak at different speeds as well. Like, there's some YouTubers I think you have to put on two times speed. <laughs> but it doesn't, it doesn't actually affect the YouTuber at all. It, it's still the same amount of watch time, I believe. I could be wrong in that. I'd be curious to know, like... Does the watch... Like, if you watch a video that goes for an hour on two times speed... Then you're only watching it in half an hour time. I still think the the video and the YouTuber still gets the hour of watch time. I could be wrong. I don't know. Do you guys watch stuff on two times speed? Do you watch me on two times speed? I don't fucking know. Maybe. But yeah. Any interest in doing a Divide and Conquer mod anytime soon? Hans, thanks for the question. Uh, maybe. I haven't really thought about doing medieval mods. Maybe I need to hold a vote. And I need to test out as well. 
how stable those are. Yeah, because at the moment we're still essentially just using the vanilla campaigns of Rome 2 and Empire and and uh, Medieval at the moment. Oh, the enemy general's fallen. Crown Prince Nasir. We're still skirmishing with them. They're out of ammunition, so they should probably move back. But now that we've got some proper swordsmen, we should be absolutely carving through them. Do Empire Toyota War Australia mod. Wait. Yeah, does it exist? You can colonize your homeland. No, I don't believe so. You can play as like Tasmania in like Hoi. And you can colonize Australia in um, Europa Universalis, I believe. But no, I don't believe you can actually battle, control, or fight playing as Australia in any Total War. I could be wrong. Someone's got to make a mod for me just to so I can play as Australia. Like, they should have an Australian theatre in Empire, to be fair. And maybe even South Africa and Brazil to some extent. Like, proper South America. That would be cool. Fuck, what, what's hitting us here? Oh, a General's Bodyguard. I didn't even notice. 10% of their 66. Yeah, we're still pushing through. Oh, shit. Maybe hit some of those units around the back there, then. Like, there is an Anglo-Zulu mod for Empire, but... Or is it Napoleon? I think it's for Empire. I can't remember. However, it's only a battle mod. Alright, this battle's just turning a little bit grindy. More than anything. We're gonna win. It's just only a matter of time. It's turning into a little bit of a stalemate. Have you done any game design? No. I haven't. Enemy general fallen, perfect. Just need to concentrate on this slightly. It's because we're fighting the Sultan and the uh, the Crown Prince as well, so it's getting a little bit difficult. But once Jeddah has fallen, um, there goes the Egyptians. Yeah, the only experience with game designers have I had that I um. I did actually get into university first time around, when I was 17, which is kind of crazy. I graduated, I graduated young, so I, I finished when I was 17. I was just 18 when I got into uni, but I, um, I was in a computer science course, like we had like Python, I was like making turtles and shit, but I ended up dropping out. I was like, fuck this, I'm not interested, and then I ended up having my gap year. I didn't get back to uni until I was 21. That's the thing, man. Uni isn't everyone. You don't have to go straight away. Like, I was always going to go to uni, but I just picked some course that I was semi-interested in, but fuck, I did a couple of weeks. I was like, fuck this. I need a year off. It's called secondary college. Like, like, I don't know what it is where you are, but it's the bit before you go to uni. Um... Is when I finished things up when I was 17. Because I, um, I guess I didn't have s slots or I didn't get into the history course that I wanted to. But I later applied when I was 21. And that's what I have now. But yeah, after fucking school, I was really burnt out. And then I had a gap year. And that's where all these fucking... Danish fucking stories come from and stuff. Yeah, but I guess back before 2020, if you are sort of looking to go to uni and stuff, if you definitely feel like you need a gap year, fucking do it, but, and travel, but I don't know now. It's a bit different. Praise the saints. Our men have taken like, I can't imagine, like, hosteling now. You know what I mean? Alright, we've initiated the countdown now, though. This is a clear and we've won. That goes to only men of great and valor. That's impossible. You don't look a day older than 76. <laughs> Alright. Enjoying the Macedonian series now. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. Well, that's the thing. You can come back and forth. You don't have to watch it live, necessarily. 
Australia exists in uh, EU4, yeah. Alright. Play victory. Cool. And that should be the last of the Egyptians, if uh, my calculations are correct. No more Iubids. Yeah, Egypt's gone. Perfect. To be fair, we might need to give Jeddah to the uh, the Mongols who are coming up soon. Okay, I suppose we hit this army on the outside here. We will engage them honorably, my lord. God has granted his faith. Go with a night attack. They're now gone. Blessed Lord. Okay, let's move you back here. And we move out. Perfect. Let's move back to Jerusalem. I do want to try and take Dongola. We're still one more away from our territory. Victory conditions here, but we still need to get rid of Venice. Uh, I suppose... Oh, I was going to say, we might be able to get some more reinforcements here. We can move you to Akka. Well, you go here. Okay, let's continue to get more military reinforcements over here if we can. Uh, maybe one in Bologna. Yeah, so Venice have officially been... No, okay, hang on. Yeah, so... I guess they have been excommunicated. They want us to block the port of Ragusa. Ragusa. Oh, yes, yeah, so because Ragusa is here, isn't there? Okay. Uh, what's, what even is this army attacking me? It's kind of crap. Like, what's the order resolve of, like, hitting it? We might need to play it, though. That's the thing. Oh, no, we should be okay with that. Two to one. Uh, I could move up some additional reinforcements to help out, but then we're kind of weakening ourselves slightly. We could maybe move you here. Wait, what? Oh, I guess that does it. Alright, clear victory. Move you back. And we repair. Yeah, because there's an army there to the north. That we have to keep an eye on. So we're only at war with Venice at the moment. Yes, yeah, so we've got an alliance with England and Denmark. Who would have thought that? Right, well, it's coming up in four hours again. I need to uh, fill up my water bottle, get another water. So I'll be back in a moment. But uh, yeah, we'll still continue on for a little bit longer because there's still a couple, a little bit more pieces of territory I'd like to take oh, moving north. Okay, awesome. Wowzers. We've done a lot here today. Holy shit. All right. Not going to be as long as I w was before, but um, I'll be right back. I need another break. Imagine these mechanics in Rome too. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. All right, BOB.
Okay, I'm back. Yeah, it wasn't too long. It wasn't as long as I was before. Yeah, we'll still go for a little bit longer here today. Oh, I'm back. How's everyone doing? We all still good. We all still groovy. Is Simsy doing the rain dance? What is happening? The longest water break ever. <laughs> I wouldn't have filled up my water bottle. I also went to the loo. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I've said this before. I need like a break every like two hours for a couple minutes. Either to make a coffee or whatever. Alright, we're back in it. Um, I'm trying to think if we've got enough to auto resolve this. Yeah. I think we do. So let's take Akka with... Ario, his first real test, I suppose. Um, I'm trying to think if I should make Acker a port settlement or something. Does it need to be a fort? I don't think so. I think having this settlement as our fort is the play. I think we convert it eventually to a large town. Hello, Your Highness. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I suppose you go further up. Like, even Antioch hasn't been taken. That, that actually might be really worth our while in doing it, so. Yes. Right, let's just try and get some military units where we can. And then we probably, hmm, because this army needs to move to try and take some Venetian territory. So at least that needs to stay there. Maybe move you to Venice. Like, Bologna's probably safer. I don't believe we're ever going to get attacked by the Papal Sea. We could do. That'd be kind of cringe if that happened, but... Maybe Bol maybe Florence is a bit safer. And do we move like that to Bologna? Oh, hang on, no. That's already on high taxes. So are most of these. Okay. So... So we hit this army north? I suppose so. We are technically trespassing at that point, so I kind of don't want to do it if I can avoid it. Okay. I guess we see how big Antioch is, but... We might need to move out from Akko already. Oh, the HRE declared war on me anyway. What the fuck? Okay, we've got to watch out for a roaming army from the north. Oh, we might have gone on their border technically, but I don't think so. I don't think we really trespassed against them. That's a bit harsh. Okay, let's uh, get a priest down here. I uh, suppose we move you to Baghdad. The, Baghdad. the Mongols haven't come in yet, but they might soon. They come between 50 to 60 turns, depending on a couple of factors. Alright, let's move you to Jerusalem. Uh, Antioch. You probably could take, to be fair. Like, we probably can leave Akka. I don't believe it's going to get attacked. But you never know. Let's build a fort here. Uh, sorry, a watchtower here. Probably should build a watchtower here. Oh, Damascus. Oh, okay. That's actually got more units in it. Spain as being a, u a nuisance. It was actually the HRE, but Spain had been a nuisance earlier in the series. I suppose we march on Antioch with this army. That should be more than capable to take it. 
Spain is still hovering here, but it's not that big of an issue. Let me strike, my lord. Okay, let's move here. Let's move some reinforcements in. I might even control a mer- Oh, God. Just to give me a bit of an indication how strong the force is. So it's a little bit weaker than what I anticipated. Okay. I don't believe we need another ballista unit there. Why can't they go in? Surprising. So I guess we move two more units in. And then I guess we move yes. here. Move uh, maybe move everyone yes. there then. We tomorrow, my lord. Watch attacks Tunisia. Alright. Oh, witch, right. Oh, I thought you meant like watch, like watch. No, witch. Oh shit, like actually, wah! A little bit of magic. Oh, this guy's cooked then, Fenzo. Fenzo is uh, what we call in the business fucked, I think. Yeah, there's not really much we can do about that. We can get assassins in Tunisia, because that can be a bit of a pro... Uh, we can get assassins here in somewhere? Oh, where was it? We can, we can get one up here in Genoa. It might be worth getting rid of her, because that can be quite annoying. Dude. Good spot. Your orders, noble one. I didn't see that. Because that shit can be super annoying. We could even send some units from Naples, maybe. Like, uh, we probably should get a ship here. We probably could send some reinforcements over to Zagreb. Potentially. Because we can defend these other units. Bologna and, like, Florence are a little bit exposed, but we should be okay. We're at war with the HRE now. Uh, I don't suppose they want... Peace. There's another witch up here as well. Oh, fuck. So yeah, like witches and shit are spawning. Burn her by the priest. Can we do that? Yeah. I suppose you're right. We don't need an assassin. We can just use the priest. What am I thinking? 95%. Let's accept the mission. Yeah. Yes! Blasphemer executed. Oh, perfect. Do we have any of these as well? Well, these guys are perfect because they're quite high level. There's no other witches that we can see. Can't you just not use the cardinal? I don't think I've ever seen witches in my games before. Nah, dude. Fucking... Basilo with the clutch. <laughs> I was thinking I needed a bloody... Uh, an assassin to get rid of her. I think most of my priests are actually in foreign lands. Uh, she's now in Venice here as well. We've got a fair few princesses coming through. Hello, Your Highness. How am I to serve our people? Uh, I still think we get an assassin. We might try and get a priest here as well eventually. Alrighty. How old is Alberto? 53. I was just trying to think if I should move another general with him. No. Anyway, uh, let's continue on. Ah, you're right. Spain are becoming a nuisance. They've attacked me again here. This is not good, my lord. The enemy Venice want to negotiate. I'm actually not going to sign a peace with them. Okay, that army came back down. A little bit of a, of a bait, but I guess we would draw. 
Are you using any mods? Edward? Uh, no. Why do I keep on saying Edward? I suppose. Oh, that's the footballer, isn't it? Edart. Edardo. Uh, no, I'm just using uh, Reshade and Vanilla. Another papal election. Hope we win this one. Again, the Hungarians win. Fuck. So Genoa's been besieged. Well, this army can easily deal with that. Oh, they are dismounted feudal knights. But we're fine. Venice has besieged Venice. Hilarious. We're still up there with the military and overall. Ah, damn. Venice have been reconciled because of the new Pope, eh? We weren't quick enough to take that territory. Well, we're going to have to swing around and deal with this army, though. Okay, you're mo moving north. I don't think we're, we had the money to get that priest in. No, we're not. All right, let's get you to besiege out Antioch. And... We'll still move this priest south. Yeah, go to Baghdad because the Mongols will be coming here eventually. Alright, just moving my spy. We've got a couple of princesses here as well. You have to be a little bit careful. Which is a giving bad proper uh, properties to your characters. Don't leave princesses nearby. Well, I can't get her out. She's currently being besieged, but we'll try and get rid of her. I don't believe I can see any other witches about. Not that I can see here. No. There just seems to be that one there. What do they do? Cast spells on your family members and generals? I would assume so, Giovanni. I can't remember. They're just, they're just not good. I think that they can, like, essentially kill people. Um, ooh, wow. This is like a mercenary spam army. Okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Still really dreaded. Yeah, maybe we move her out of here. Hello, yes, Your Majesty. An honor. Hello, Your Highness. Because we don't want to lose them; they are quite valuable. Hello, Your Highness. I want to try and get them married off, though. Like, for example. Your Majesty. So you're here. Yes. You're further south. Do we have any other princesses? No. So, for example, can I marry? You or you, like, can you marry any of your cousins or is it too close? Yeah, I think it's all too close here. And you're in Palmyra. You're in Naples. Like, maybe... Okay, you can marry you. And you as well. Enemy, Lord. We march on our your orders, noble one. Okay. Orders. I guess we move this ballista unit here. Let me strike, my lord. And we move you. Eastward. Okay, maybe drop the taxes here slightly. Yes. March. Noble Lord, an honor. There's no Spanish there, so we can't remake peace with them. God's set. Yes, my lord. Ready to trade. Noble Lord. No, let's continue. Alright. 
sorry, Hall. Um, this is an English-only chat. I'm afraid, so I don't know what you're saying. I, you can't say that, because I don't know what you're saying. Uh, Giovanna? Who are you? Oh, yeah, sure. He's alright. Oh, God. Agent detected. Oh, just a bunch of them. The Moors and Venetians have cancelled their alliance. Perfect. Same with the HRE. That's some great news. Okay. I don't know how successful this guy is going to be. Yeah, 50%. Hey, we got rid of the witch. Ding dong. The witch is dead. Hell yeah. Alright, you... Try and rally up. How old is King Simon the Crusader? 51. Alright, let's besiege out Antioch. Dude, Aleppo, Damascus. How have the Turks not taken this? A little bit surprising. Alright, just now have a sip of water. Okay. Family tree is still secure. It's looking good. I want to try and get more of a married off if I can. Hmm. I did say I was hit making you head to... Baghdad. I think we might send him to... Uh, maybe negotiate with the Turks, because if we start bordering them, that could cause some issues for us. Alright. Maybe try and find those Spanish forces again. We do have that assassin in Genoa, though. What is their name? Simon said burn the wishes. He sure did. Witches. <laughs> the wishes. My lord. God's sent. Thirteen percent Catholic, sixty. Oh wow. Cairo and Alexandria, like high seventies. With Catholic with uh, Catholicism. That's perfect. Yeah. I was just curious to see if we could call a crusade. Let's get some of these tribesmen in there. Right, well, I suppose we are... Oh, that's a big army there. I kind of want to go for Zagreb, I guess. But we might get intercepted here, which is fine. Alright, let's continue to... Buff up... Some of these border territories, as always. We can get at least half a stack in each, we can defend it. Uh, we might be able to send this assassin... Uh, yeah, let's try and hit this... Oh, it's only 20%. Hmm. Well, I guess you got to level him up some way. Is he quite a good diplomat? No. I'm surprised that's so low. But we could actually send more reinforcements here, like I said. I still think we send you south, though. Because we probably don't need that many in Bolon uh, Naples. We don't need two generals, no way. So who's who here? Okay, you're sec oh you're second in line to the throne. And you're technically married to him. Okay, so it's actually probably more valuable to move him over. It's only just come of age. Alright, I might move him out with a a small army. Actually, I'll leave the guys in blue, because technically the guys in blue have free upkeep. So we really should leave them there if we can. Yeah, so let's move them over to Zagreb. We can even use them as a garrison. Turn 60, we might actually have the Mongol invasion soon. 
What do Venice want? Just trying to bribe the settlement by the looks of it. Oh. Uh, Philippa. Yep, let's hear if I'm not mistaken. Let's bring him in. A theologian's guild at Naples. That's fine. So you're here in Venice. Um, we probably don't need two generals there. We'll maybe go to Bologna with you then. New family member. Perfect. Moors in the HRE are at war. Seriously. Oh, there's a heretic here. We probably should get rid of him. Perfect. Dude. My priests are turning into absolute savages in this series. Holy fuck. <laughs> They're so good. We can't get rid of this Moorish guy here, though. I guess we're not at war with them. The French still have Marseille. There's no other heretics or anyone else we can deal with here, no. I suppose we should hit this army here. Haven't really played Medieval too much. I get overwhelmed with the differences from other games. Any advice? Um, maybe just watch tutorials. Or maybe watch this, you sort of get the hang of it. But my uh, advice for getting into Total War, play on easy. Just because like streamers and people are playing on normal and hard and stuff and very hard. Just start easy and just work your way up. Like even when I get a brand new Total War, like I haven't played before in early access or something. I always put it on like the, the lower difficulties just to see how the game reacts and like how stuff moves around. So I would highly recommend that. Because usually as the difficulties go up on the newer Total Wars, it's mostly just modifiers and stats stuff. So, But the AI sort of tends to react in a similar way. But yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of content creators that have done tutorials. I don't think I've done a tutorial for Medieval 2, but I'm sure there's like top five things or advice and stuff. But you get the hang of it. It's just practice and maybe getting some tips and tricks here and there. Oh, you probably shouldn't be down here in... Um, Jetta, to be fair, you're going to be well suited somewhere else. You're even giving bad public order. Maybe move you to Jerusalem. But yeah, just dive in deep. It's it's really hard to try and say, oh, what advice I would say. It's such a complicated game, but yeah. Maybe drop the difficulty, work your way up. Watch small tutorial videos. Maybe play someone like England. They're a pretty good faction to play as. Because you can really defend the island quite easily. But thanks for the question, guy. But it just takes time. Total War is one of those games where... It, and like even strategy games in general, Paradox games. It just takes hours of gameplay and repetition but um rock paper scissors usually works in the sense that um spearmen attack horsemen horsemen get rid of infantry there's like a there's usually that as well with like units and stuff and every game is slightly different in that sense okay No, they still want. They don't want peace. The HRE, unfortunately. Okay. Is there not a port here in Venice? What the fuck? I could have sworn there was. Seriously? Don't try and make alliances. They don't believe in friendship. Yeah. I don't know about the lower difficulties. I think they are they I'm pretty sure they're quite loyal in on, on easy easy, you know what I mean? But um no medieval two is a little bit notorious about alliances. The AI is very backstabby for whatever reason.
Maybe we even things up and move one of those units to Genoa. Okay, well, yeah, we've got that army there. I suppose we just go straight for Zagreb. Because we might get told not to take it and make peace with them. Oh, how are we not in range of that? Fuck. Well, I suppose we bring you in. Move you back. Yeah, how's that not... I guess maybe it's the siege equipment? Uh, that's annoying. I wanted to try and take it this turn if we could. The Byzantines are still hanging out with a full stack here. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's have a look at Antioch. Uh, we should be able to take this, but... You never know, something like that might not work in the order resolve. It is a rebel territory after all. Hopefully we get the victory we do. Fuck yes. Would have been annoying to play that. Cool. Oh my god, Ario has become a torturer. Hopefully, becomes a bit more of a formidable commander. That's what I'd like to see. Does it have a Serbia campaign? No. They're not in this game. They're in 1212 AD, though, however. The assassin wasn't successful. I wanted him to still try, though. Right. Um, we got a little bit of money from taking Antioch here. So we can replenish some of these units. Oh, we probably can get some more as well. I did actually deplete the garrison here in Naples, so it's probably not a bad idea to maybe get some back to some extent. Alright, let's move on. It seems the Middle East is yours for the taking. Yeah, it seems like it for whatever reason. I don't know why. It just depends. If a faction can get a footholding um, on Crusade, really. But I've seen Sicily actually dominate the Middle East before. In AI campaigns. Like if the HRE or the French or someone took these territories in and around the Levant, they tend to conquer the East. A boon for builders. Tales of a clever invention from the Far East has recently inspired European peasants. It's called the wheelbarrow. <laughs> nice. Trait decreased, cruel leader plus two. Okay. The stone wall in Antioch has been rebuilt and a chapel as well. Ah, oh, the French and the Moors have made a peace treaty. Maybe that's as well. Maybe the Moors are putting a lot of pressure on these other factions. Yeah, but it does seem like we're carving up all this territory really quite well and effectively. Uh, do we have enough to go for something like Aleppo? Potentially, after we retrain. Alright, back over here we're looking good. Uh, see if we can find any Spanish units. Keep my spy in and around Constantinople. Do they actually want trade or an alliance or anything? No. Okay. How about the HRE again? No, they don't want peace. Who are we still at war with? Spain, Venice. God, it's so hard to keep track who we're exactly at war with. Because we have to make peace with so many factions. But we've really bunkered down this northern territory. Okay, yeah, so they didn't actually attack me there, so maybe we can go into Zagreb. I can even move this unit up here. 
to help out. Perfect. We might have to play this one. Because the order resolve with Ballista can be quite harsh. Oh, there doesn't even seem to be that much in there anyway. Alright, let's... Uh, I guess we control the AI reinforcements. We don't want to lose this general charging on in. I don't think we're going to need them, but I basically brought them over to act as a garrison. So that we can keep on conquering Venetian lands. We definitely don't have... Like, no, okay, I just want to double check, it's not saying... Yeah, you really shouldn't attack them. The last thing I wanted is to get excommunicated. See something standing over there that looks witch born and dark. Best kill them and cleanse God's creation. <laughs> Was that it? Just calling them witches. <laughs> We've had a fair few of them around in the campaign, so. Maybe that's why he's he said that. <laughs> oh well. Let's uh, get ready to take Zagreb. Okay, so hopefully we're okay. Oh, there's a little bit of a, a dip here, but that should be okay. We should be able to arc our shots well still. Uh, maybe we centralize you and then move you there. Alright, let's move all the infantry up. Just something like this. Yep. Once again, if we need to move our skirmishes up, we will do. Perfect. Let's go again. Okay, they're slightly out of range. And we go again. This ballista meta we're doing is still super effective. Okay, 14%. Yeah, it still kind of blows my mind that you need to move a unit up to actually see the uh, line of sight on it. Yeah, so if I just move you there, just keep you there, fine. We can sort of see what's going on. Maybe slightly back to get out of the way, to get out of the way of the firing pattern. They could charge, but I don't believe so. You definitely need two, though, just in case they miss. Also, guys, if you haven't already, hit the like on the stream. I'd really much appreciate it. We've nearly got 100 likes. We're only six away, so if we could get that before we wrap things up here today, that would be fantastic. Alright, let's uh, fire on into this cluster. Yeah, no, I just thought I'd mention it, because we're super, super close to 100. Okay, let's start firing into this. Now, last time we faced them, this didn't work. It only worked against the Milanese. Oh, perfect. If they're going to sit here and um, let us fire upon them, that's what I want to do, ideally. It's just shooting into this gateway can be a little bit tough. There we go. Looks like Shashimi... Sh sh I can't even say it properly. Sh <laughs> Sashimi is back on the menu, boys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know what it is. 
they just seem to sit there. Especially these large towns. This ballista tactic is incredibly effective if they sit there. I'd love them to move the general's bodyguard there, but I don't believe they're going to do so. Didn't I click fucking control? Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit, the uh, reinforcements are moving in. We've got to go first. I could have sworn I clicked control. Oh, my bad. Shit, we're going to lose this general if we can get in here quick enough because he's going to suicide on in. No! We well, might even need a hold. Give grace to God. We have captured the enemy's walls. Because that's the problem with reinforcements as well. you got to be careful because the the, uh, the, day sunset, but our the Allied General really has no self-preservation. Like, whatsoever. Alright, let's charge on in. I'm curious if we take Zagreb, will the uh, Papal Sea want me to stop attacking them? Because we might just start having to, having to chip away at the Venetians slowly. Oh, we got the general. Perfect. Okay, some of the... Um, enemies are actually on the walls for whatever reason. We probably could ignore that and just go straight for the town square, to be fair. Alright, let's continue to push into that. Yeah, so... There's quite a bit there, so maybe we send in some cavalry down to help? Oh no, there's some allied stuff here. Oh, they're even shaking anyway. Is there any way you can play as the Mongols on the mobile version? I have no idea. I've never played the mobile version. My mobile's crap. I never play games on it. Let alone Medieval 2. But I've heard it's got some cool features. I think on the mobile you can actually declare your air <laughs> that I was talking about before. We must. The enemy are badly but I don't know. Lost half their men. But no, the mobile game isn't my cup of tea. That isn't my sort of thing. Maybe if I was in high school or like uni, I'd maybe play it if I was fucking bored in some lecture room and or something. But I don't need to travel as much as I used to. Now that I'm all done with that sort of part of my life. Alright, let's initiate the countdown. But no, if I had Medieval 2 on a mobile device in high school, holy shit, I'd be playing that. Because we used to play that sort of stuff anyway. We used to play... Pokemon on stuff and fucking... Games on laptops, all the time. Perfect, let's end the battle there. Alright, let's exterminate the settlement. Yeah, noble death, we lost him! Fuck, bro! Oh, died in battle, 1200 AD. Fuck, man. I fucked up there. Shit. I'd be worried about Total War Games on mobile out of the fear of melting my phone. I don't think that's going to happen. Depends what you have. I've got a shit phone. But to be fair, some people spend like thousands of dollars on phones. Like I could, I don't, like I don't really use my phone that much. At all. Just for literally calls and texts and, well I guess actually now I use it for streams. I have the chat up on my phone now. But yeah, up until I, yeah, I guess up until like last week, I don't really use it for anything really. Like I don't play games on it. Your orders, noble one. I have my PC for that. Right 
Okay, they're still... Yeah. We still haven't been told to not attack them. Block this port for at least three turns. We might be able to do it, but I don't know. Holy shit, Ragusa is quite a big settlement there. Okay, we can sort of get a little bit of line of sight. Let's try and replenish and repair in Zagreb as well. Yeah, I don't want to get drawn out, so I guess we just get rid of that. And F, yeah, big old rip to one of our family members. Unfortunately. Your orders, noble one. We shall continue at your okay, order. you need to move to Jerusalem. Yeah, we can't get trade with anyone else. Right, so I suppose we go to Ragusa. Because how many territories do they have now? Five. One, two, three, four, five somewhere here. I'd say. Actually, to be fair, it's probably worth getting some spies over here somewhere. We might even need to start recruiting from the south. Like, I was going to say, oh, maybe we get military forces from the north. We actually might be better off to move it over this way. Like, it actually might be quicker. It is a little bit sketchy, though. Like, we might be better off to manually move it. Honestly, I probably should have converted one of these to a fort, because... Yeah, maybe I'll make Bologna the, um... The fort up here. Because we haven't got one, and we probably need one. Milan, Genoa, Venice, they're all pretty good. Like, Bologna's... Semi-landlocked. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I should pay for that. Can I do that or is it too late? Fuck, it's too late. Because they're too built up. Because there's only a certain amount of time that you can actually do that. Uh, maybe I'll make Florence the castle. Yeah, that might be still worth it. Let's make Florence the castle. Because... We don't have the navy to really safely move stuff across. And actually might be in our interest to do that. Have a bit more military infrastructure in the north. You know what I mean? Maybe even try and repair that wall, perhaps. Uh, probably should up the taxes in some of these areas as well, if we can. Like, we do have plenty of... cities around the place. Alright, let's see what this army does. And we'll move on. Moving on. Oh, the Turks want to negotiate us. Negotiate with us. Um, I'd nearly make an alliance with you if I could. Uh, it's not something you're interested in. What was if I offer you, like, map? And military access? How about map for map? Oh, okay. Hmm. No, I'd rather not let them know where I am. I kind of don't want them to know I've got so much territory in the south here. Oh, the hero of... Zorro. Okay. Yeah, here we go. They want us to stop attacking Venice for four turns anyway. That's fine by me. England have been excommunicated again. <laughs> the Turks and the Byzantines have made that alliance. We saw that. Wait, what? France has attacked me? What the fuck? We've got another witch over here, by the way, we probably need to get, deal with. Oh, she's actually quite strong. Oh, we failed that. 
the fucking French hate me now? Dude, this is our first war against them. The hell? Uh, yeah, France, can I have a ceasefire, please? To be fair, Marseille is a pretty decent territory. We could look to, uh, to take. There's no other heretics down here, or... Any blasphemers? No, I don't believe so. I do have a spy in Milan now, though. I kind of wanted to go against Venice. Just so I can see a little bit clearer. I still think we keep our diplomats in range. I would like to get peace with Spain if we can. Is anyone from Spain near me? The HRE are, though. We haven't had a fight with them in a while. I don't even feel like trade. No, they're not interested. Maybe move you north to negotiate with the Spanish. Yeah, they don't want anything. The Byzantines. We're still trading with them, though. Still allied with a fair few factions, though. I'll try and move you to Antioch. We might even try and take Aleppo. So we have 17 regions now. Two more than the allotted, and we still need to get rid of Venice. Which only have five. Cool, so we've still got a little bit more to go in this campaign. And we have to make peace with them. Yeah, I'd rather not get excommunicated. Maybe we need another priest, if there's going to be heretics and witches and stuff spawning up here. Well, I guess you guys bunker on in and just retrain. I think this is mostly Catholic, so we probably don't even need to build that. Maybe just get a farm here. Uh, that's being converted. And we could get attacked here in Genoa by French, but I'm not that scared. We can buff up military forces here eventually, like... Your oh, we actually can't send stuff down there. Maybe just retrain. Right, I suppose we, uh... Hold. Uh, no, you're... Oh, you're blocking the port there, aren't you? We might have to, have to stop yes. that, eh? Because if... Oh, how does that work? I suppose we stop, just in case that counts as that. Because we do want to try and cease hostilities against them if we can. We'll do one more turn. Also, because I do want the Mongols to rock up. I wonder if they want peace. I don't think I want to peace out with them. What does Hungary want, I wonder? Uh, let's get another Thieves Guild, sure. Okay, back over here. Let's go back into Diplomacy. Uh, you're still heading north. We might as well negotiate with the Hungarians if they're literally just here. Okay, they still don't want peace. There's been no bloodshed between me and the French. So hopefully that can continue. King Rodrigo of Spain. Oh, he does want peace. Well, let's just try and get some money out of him. I nearly wouldn't mind, like, map information. And, like, halve the money. Because I'm kind of I'm kind of curious to see how the Iberian Peninsula is still developing. Demand, map, ceasefire trade. No, Rejected. Hang on. I would like a little bit of money. Please, 
Hmm. Yeah, maybe we just get the uh, the money rather than the map information. Because they are quite protective of that. Alright, maybe they're just not interested. Okay, they accepted that though. Right, yeah, because I'm curious to see. So... The Spanish have Toledo, Leon, Zaragoza, but they also have Bordeaux. Okay, I thought maybe the Moors have really pushed them a bit, but they haven't overly too much. It's not as crazy as what I thought. All right, maybe we try and get some more financial buildings down here. We do have to keep an eye on the public order slightly. I never really thought about this. Do we need to move our capital? Oh, 60 away. I think, hmm, you can sort of mathematically work out what the center of your empire is. Because what is it? It's currently, obviously, Sicily. Palermo. Yeah, you'd nearly have to make, like, Athens or Corinth or somewhere in Greece the center. Because I actually think Sicily is actually the center of our empire. Fuck. Alright. Do we go for Damascus? That's what I'm thinking. We do leave Antioch a little bit vulnerable, though. So I think we go for it. Let's move you to Damascus. Half a stack. This should um, we should be okay. Yeah, no, this should be enough to take that. Can we up the tax here? We can. Alright. Where did those witches go? I guess we go with the secondary attempt. Oh, we got a Woohoo! That's some pretty good RNG. That's really quite lucky. Nice. Divine Connections, Enemy of Heretics. Dude, I rarely get the RNG off something like that. That's pretty decent. Oh, nice. We actually can uh, get better quality military forces here in Florence. Okay, let's um, move some of the units to Genoa. Just to make things a little bit more secure. Alright, in saying that, we probably should move some to Milan from Bologna. Maybe eventually some here as well. On the border territories. Still knuckled down in Zagreb. Where's that spy? Because I kind of want to go down and have a look. So there's two coastal settlements that we can go for. We could maybe look to go for something like Innsbruck, actually. Maybe. If we can get some better units up here. But I'm fine with turtling. Ah, oh, the Byzantines fucking attacked. It was only a matter of time, I guess. Scotland to France and allies. That's kind of cool. How are the Mongols not showing up, by the way? It's, uh... Nearly about time. I would have thought they would have done it at some point. Alright, let's besiege out Damascus. Continually annoy the French. Family rejected. Muzumi. Mm -hmm. 
I guess we have to move you to Innsbruck and see what they say. Yes, my lord. Noble lord, did you expect us to be until next time? Oh, just bumped my mic, sorry. Fucking about. Ooh, maybe getting a catapult maker might be quite a smart plan. Because these garrisons are very built up here. We're in a really strong position here. How much is this diplomat making? Oh, dude, he's making fuck all just sitting here. God's sent. My lord. Where to, sir? God's sent. Someone to an honor. An order, sire. <laughs> Was that an attack? Mm. What are the odds for marching out against something like this? Oh, okay. God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. It's not as, as impressive as I thought. We only outnumber them slightly. A lot of ballista. There are a decent amount of spearmen there. One, two, three. What's this? Okay, that's town militia. If it was Javelin, then I'd be a little bit more concerned. But we should be okay. Let's uh, fight this one. Against the Byzantines, and then we'll probably wrap today's episode up here, because we've been going for five hours now. I'm getting a little bit tongue-tied. I'm getting a little bit loopy. <laughs> Need to have a break and uh, go have some, some brunch, I guess. Um, I want to try and get everyone as close up here as I can. Okay, that'll do. Let's start the battle. Let's move everyone out into a formation like this. You here as well. We should be able to... Fuck, what? Just get everyone out, firstly. Okay, they're actually coming up with a unit here. I know they have skirmish units, but that's quite ambitious for them. Some of these mountain sergeants are light enough. They might be able to catch them. It is bucketing down with rain. There we go. Just, like, catch them if you can. You've got a couple of them there. There we go. We got them. We'll send everyone in. Like, try and send or go around them. Okay, they got some trebers on archers there. So maybe send some of you over here. Uh, let's try and move you roughly about here. The Same with the general. If we remain true and like, just Victory try and get around them. Let's send out some mailed knights. Come on, let's get a nice, strong, rapid, high-octane charge. Dude, oh, the rocks and trees and shit stopped them. Dude, pouring down with rain. We are a grey-looking faction anyway. I'm sure that'd be terrifying. And they're now broken. Okay, let's move the cavalry probably around here. Okay. Let's grab all our spearmen and try and form up something like that. Maybe even go into a guard mode, we'll see. And we'll move the general up. If this unit can get a little bit closer to us, I might just charge. If they're going to come out and contest me like that. Yeah, last time, the last couple of times we've been successful enough in um, 
catching them. Let's continue to rotate here. Let's wait for our spearmen to get in position and then we'll try and charge. They do have ballista and stuff. Oh, maybe we need to go around the back then. I don't think they've been hitting us that effectively. Or maybe just charge like this around the back then. Maybe this way more. Alright, well, let's give out some attack orders and charge. Now they're starting to hit us. Oh, they're going for the general unit, actually. There we go. Let's try and neutralize them. I think we're okay. I don't think he got sniped. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but they're broken there. Winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Let's move the general up slightly. It's kind of a little bit hard to see just because it's pouring down with rain in Sicily. Could have had God on our side for this one. Maybe if we win, he'll clean up the battlefield. Okay, and the Byzantines are once again in a full retreat. Dude, the amount of bodies that have fertilized fucking Sicily, holy shit. I'm going to do... I need to remember the trick as well. We want to ransom them. Because if they've got no ships in sight, we should just crush the um, army. The ransom tri uh, chi uh, trick doesn't work if there's a navy nearby. Perfect. Dude, we only lost 100. That's fantastic. Against Isaac, who I believe is one of the Emperor's sons. He's a pretty high-ranking Byzantine uh, family member, definitely. Yeah, so we ransom for 4,000 if they accept. It was rejected anyway. Plus three command just for that battle. Really? Try and retrain as well, though. But another glorious victory on the uh, the fields of Sicily, eh? Yes, my lord. Ready to trade. Now can we make peace? No. France, HRE, Venice... Byzantines, because it has, has grown quite a bit. Only two more turns, though. Well do, sire. Without a trace. To keep with peace, because then we can push into Ragusa. We will have to probably attack that army, though, to be fair. Okay, I'm just trying to think. Maybe we um make an army here. And sort of rally up. So who's my best commander here? And we'll go by youngest. Okay, you look quite alright. So I suppose you go, you're you going to take the command, but we kind of need someone here in Genoa, so we might have to try and tinker with this slightly. Oh, so maybe you start here. And let's move it around like this. I don't think Venice is going to get attacked, so let's move it like that. There we go. Alright, so let's commit some military forces. Go with crossbows. We even got a priest here as well, actually. So let's move the crossbows out. Three's plenty. 
We probably could get, um, actually get the guys that aren't getting free upkeep, like you, but uh, we might as well move one. Half a stacks there is, f there is fine. You as well. And then I suppose we move you over here. And then we'll eventually get some more reinforcements. Oh no, it's not going to get attacked, I don't think so, so we might as well just rally up then. We can even move in the ballista there, just to sort of gauge what we've got. Yeah, because I was just sort of looking. We've probably got a full stack here that's available. To maybe rotate out. We're really quite secure in our position here. Like, we can pivot this wherever we want. We could maybe go to Marseille. Hmm. I think Innsbruck actually would be quite good. It's an imperial fortress. Like, maybe... Making the extending our border territory slightly might be a good idea. Yeah, we could very well even actually send it to the Venetian frontier over in the uh, the east potentially, because we're still before we wrap up this campaign, we still need to get rid of them, get rid of those five regions. Okay, um, how are we doing down in the south? Right, you were hitting Damascus, weren't you? But that siege equipment is yet to be built. Okay, let's just do one more turn. Yeah, because I'm surprised the Mongols aren't here yet. Hey, we just hit 100 likes. Thank thank you, whoever did that. <laughs> hit the... was on 99. Yeah. I really appreciate that. That really helps. Uh, the French are moving an army over here. Yeah, here we go, a new threat. News has spread from merchants of the Far East. Who speak in great fear of the Mongols. Do we get a event pop up? No. But yeah, the Mongols are coming. Well, maybe we've gotten the news. Like, the whispers of it. We actually haven't seen them officially come on in. So, we still need to cease hostile actions against the Venetians. They want me to build a small chapel in Acre. Oh, I'm already doing that. I don't mind, that's fine. Uh, what's the order resolve like? Oh, no, we can do that. Easy. Damascus will take. Yeah, whether or not we're going to be able to... ...hold these territorial gains that we've got is a is an entirely different matter. <laughs> uh, we probably need more priests in a lot of these regions, matter of fact. Let's try and move them up. Very good, my lord. Someone to see an order. Did the French want peace? Nope. This meeting was disappointing. It's annoying when you have to ask every turn, but I'd still rather do it than not. What about the HRE? Oh, they're not interested in peace either. If that was a misleading Sometimes it's worth just asking because they might counter, but Quite often, it just annoys them more than anything. An honor. Noble Lord. Yes, an honor. Noble Lord. An order. Right, still one more turn before we can make a play against them. Okay, so they have this. I want to see what they have in um, Greece. That's what's really going to change things. Well, maybe I um, sort of leave this army here before we... Like, leave this army here and we decide in episode 3 slash stream 3 what to do with it. Because we could attack this French army that's coming over. Uh, we could maybe go to Innsbruck. We could maybe move it over to this front. Now, maybe getting some paved roads to move over here because it's quite a large territory. We've got that catapult maker coming as well. Now that we've depleted these territories, we probably could get a little bit more units in. If we've got the money, why, like, why not? Let's 
Awesome. Uh, still retraining here in Sicily. Yeah. Although Tripoli and Tunisia are quite undefended, they haven't really been attacked, though, either. Alright. Well, let's do a save and uh, wrap things up. I've been going for about five hours here today, so I need to wrap things up. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Episode 2 of my Medieval Total War Definitive Edition Sicily Campaign. Dude, we've had a massive episode here today. Uh, we've managed to secure Northern Italy, which I wasn't expecting. We have 18 regions. We only need 15. Uh, we need 40 for the long victory in Jerusalem. We've managed to take out Milan. And we still need to take out the Venetians. Because they're a little bit stronger than what they normally are. Um, they usually have a little bit more territory. Well, they, they, these guys, this Venetian playthrough, they seem to have a little bit more than what they usually have. Because, yeah, if you look at the map, they usually only have Venice, uh, Croatia, like Illyria, and like Crete. Um, they seem to have more Greek territory uh, by the look of it. So we still got to get rid of them. And then we might uh, wrap things up, depending on you guys. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. We also took Jerusalem, and we've taken a bunch of uh, Middle Eastern territory, and we also knocked out the Egyptians, which I uh, didn't fully comprehend that we were going to be able to do here today. Okay, there's some... Sl oh, I was going to say, we can maybe slightly put up some of these tax rates if we can. I just noticed there, everyone seems to be quite happy over here now. Maybe Akka can go up. No. <laughs> nope. Oh, it's because we've got armies here. Well, we should, we still should tax them. Depends if we're going to be able to hold this. That's the thing. If the Mongols come over, we might not uh, be able to. But yeah. Guys, if you haven't already, left the stream a like. I'd really much appreciate it. Also, uh, subscribe if you're new. So, as we're wrapping things up now, got to say a huge thank you to this month's channel members and patrons so a huge thank you to Hector A, Dimitri H Caesar L, Kyle P, Tom C Jeremiah M and Jordan K. I really appreciate those channel members and patrons so thank you uh, very much for supporting the channel and also all you guys as well in the the chat, if you said something nice I really appreciate it uh, thank you for all the support Especially the likes, the comments, and uh, all the nice things you said. So thank you guys for the support. Stay tuned for live stream three coming out tomorrow. I'm going to be streaming 5.30 Melbourne time here. 8.30 London PM. 3.30 New York. And uh, 12.30 LA time. So that's all the world wide time conversions I'm still enjoying this campaign still got a little bit more to do so stay tuned for part three coming out tomorrow where we should be able to wrap things up and try and take some more territory and then i might hold a vote depending on the general consensus and feedback we might uh move on to something else maybe some room two maybe another medieval campaign i don't know maybe some empire we'll see how we go but anyway guys take